Hello. Good morning. I sound very nasally suddenly for no reason. <laughs> hello, hello. Good morning, Pedro. Good morning, Gull. Good morning, Echo. Good morning, Storm Dragon. Good morning, Adora. Good morning, Wolfram. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I had five people sub to my uh, Patreon. Not Patreon, sorry. Whoa. My ASMR YouTube channel. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Very different things. <laughs> I don't know what made me say Patreon. I wasn't even thinking about it, I don't think. Apparently I was, but I didn't feel like I was. Um, yeah, I I usually do like a quick cycle through because now I'm a numbers whore like everybody else. Um, oh, I would have been... Not that five subs on YouTube isn't exciting, but five subs on Patreon, very different. <laughs> <laughs> um but I was I cycle through my uh my different YouTube channels in the morning usually just to like do a quick catch up like, you know. I don't really delve super deep into my analytics or anything. But I do pay attention to, like, subscriber number. Just to, like, you know, see if number go up. Brr. Um, and there was just a huge spike on the ASMR channel yesterday. Um, I, like, my, my general, like, hope for, um, like, the ASMR is that, like, my hope for basically any video that I get right now is, like, if I get a hundred views on the video, I'm happy. It means that I think that it's doing well. Um, and I don't think that I was, I definitely don't think I was at a hundred yesterday. Um, I think I was like at about 70 for this, like last week's ASMR. And I was like, mm, you know, maybe I won't get to a hundred this week, but I should look at the view, actually, like the view analytics for this specific video. Because I think it got a spike in, yeah. It went from, so Monday at 7, it was at 76. And now Tuesday, well, I should do it at 8. It was at 77 at 8, 8 a.m. yesterday. And then 8 a.m. this morning, it's at 129. So 50 people watched it yesterday, and I don't know why. So that's cool. And got five subs out of it, which is also exciting. <laughs> well, yeah, I just, I'm curious why it, like, would spike that hard yesterday in particular, you know? Like, what was it about? Maybe everyone just had a really bad day and wanted some girlfriend experience ASMR, I don't know. But yeah, I was like, because I, I don't remember usually even exact numbers that my, um... That my like channels have like I I think I was at fifty three or something yesterday uh, some low fifties and then you know I like I said I cycle through real quick to see if there's like any new comments or anything I need to engage with and then boop. Yeah, it was, um, he's good. 
I still need to message Blake and thank them. I need, told myself I was going to do that right now. Oh, okay, I understand. John. Yeah, she just keeps posting images of our animals and she apparently got invited to like a super exclusive um, like, top 25 posters on Reddit, Reddit, apparently. I had no idea because why why would I know that? <laughs> gone through oh I didn't tweet and do I ever why do I even who knows I don't know why I have the Pokemon theme song stuck in my head, but I do. I mean, you're, I don't think you would ever get invited to that kind of, unless it's like the top 25 of whatever subreddit you post to. But if it's for all, it's, you're never going to get that from like YouTubing. It's only going to be, you know, memes and cat pictures.
All right. Boop. Okay. Now, let's open up. I feel like I'm going crazy this morning in terms of like model movement. <laughs> but I was being like, uh, 2.0, question mark, question mark, question mark. And I'm like, hmm. Man, it's going to be expansive, but it is also like a multi-year, like, I don't expect to do this for another three years. And hey, maybe Mooney will be like, I don't want to say at the level because that is like, I feel like derogatory towards him when it's not intended to be. But like his skills will improve more and more and more. And hey, Gene. And maybe I can commission him. Again. But yeah, it's like the person I want to get it from is like 2300 base, and then it'd be like probably 300 per outfit, and then another like 100 plus per hairstyle. So it's like a $4,000, $5,000 project. And I'm like, yeah, that that's definitely a, a couple of years from now, if ever. That's like a subathon kind of thing. How many subs would you have to get? I, I, I mean, assuming that, like, we're still affiliate, which I have no reason to think that we wouldn't be when I do my first subathon, it'd be like, <laughs> um, be like eight thousand subs at least. So. Eight million bits, you know, it's easy, you know. I have to turn off my background music. No, I, I had you over on this monitor, sir. Hey, Yersie! And it would probably be additional because I would imagine that in order to get like a very, very expensive rig that there might be some new like angles that would need to be drawn so I'd have to commission Yersie, speaking of, for that. So... Big, big future project that I'm not even going to think about right now. What angles are you talking? I was talking about how I really love the art for my model. And you know how people usually do like a 2.0? I don't know if I would want to do a 2.0 for art. Because I, I love my art, you know? Why does it feel like it's louder today? So, if I wanted to do a 2.0, I would probably just get, like, a really, really good rig. Does this seem louder today for you guys? It feels very loud for me, but I could just be being sensitive. So... And I was thinking about going with Ren. I don't know if you know them. Wait, I, oh, did I not do? Okay. You can barely hear it? Well, I also have it artificially turned down in OBS as well. It's quiet. Oh, it's quiet. I can turn it up. Hold on. 
Why don't you guys say things? I could have turned it up. Okay. Is that better? The lion down. <laughs> Come in if thou darest. <laughs> yeah, but if it's if the volume is not good, <laughs> you need to tell me. Sacred light to chase the darkness. Let the hunt begin. Thou didst fight yeah, I um, I was thinking about getting my rig done from Ren. They're who I see on Twitter and who actually like you know have comms that I could actually commission. I preferred it the way it was planned. Oh my god, <sighs> fine. I can never make you people happy. I literally changed it by five decimals. Okay. There, I changed it back. Yeah, chat can't make up their minds. Ever. Um, so yeah, I was definitely gonna, like, I think that's what I'm gonna do for my 2.0, quote-unquote, is rigging, not art. At least not right now. I, um... I really like otter's art and I'd like to keep it. And there's like aspects of the rigging that I would like to keep. Like, you know, I love the, uh, you know, I, I would just like things polished a little bit more. Um, because, you know, I, I don't think that otter is a rigger by trade. I think she's an artist and the rigging is amazing. Do not get me wrong. I love it. Um, you know, but th I think that would be like my quote unquote 2.0 that I would do, but it would be very, very expensive to like get a new rig plus the three outfits, plus the three hairstyles, plus, um, like lean physics and like, all that stuff. It's, it's definitely like a, I'll do this in two years, maybe even three kind of deal. But I was just thinking about it and calculating how much it would be and I'd be like, ugh. Nice. Letting the hunt begin it. Imagine ring by Kevin. Who's Kevin? Yeah, that that's what I mean, is that a lot of the really, really good riggers either will only work with a specific artist or, like, only works with, like, corporate VTubers and stuff like that. KVX art on Twitter. I'm ready. Uh, you'll have to send it to me in uh, in Discord so I remember to follow them because I love following uh, um, riggers right now on Twitter. It's like my new obsession. So he was like, "Thank you." The peacock struck. <laughs> yeah, I I did a mass cleanup of my Oh, they did Matsuda? Oh, nice. That makes sense. Definitely a lot of personality in that, yeah. 
Um... I don't know where I was gonna say, I don't think I had anything else. That I necessarily... Wanted to touch on. Yeah, that's just what I was thinking about this morning, was like... You know, what's the next quote-unquote big, big project? And it would be... Like two-year kind of deal from now. Maybe even more, depending. Oh yeah, for sure. I just get really picky with my assets because I'm a jerk and I like... If I get a if I get an asset, I want it to be rigged to my model because nothing annoys me more than like jank. Weirdly, like I'm just I'm just so weird about it for no reason. What next? I am ready. Don't start things you can't finish. Okay. Well, I'll be damned. So this is the door Bara was talking about. It doesn't look like it has any ordinary lock, that's for sure. But this crystal key should do the trick. Stone. One down, two to go. That's far enough, thief. You must be Orlik. I assume you heard the rumors and came to steal my dragon stone. But filthy thieves such as yourself. Appreciate its true value. Wait, Barum put you up to this, didn't he? That nagging, patronizing coward, Barum. This research is pointless, Orlik. Enough with the dragon stone, Orlik. I'll decide when enough is enough. Mark my words, boy. This stone is mine, and you will never have it. I beg to differ. I couldn't care less about its true value. But I need to get that stone back to its rightful owner, and that's not you. 
This stone should be in the hands of someone intelligent. Someone who can appreciate its mysteries. Someone like yourself? Precisely. This beautiful stone requires research, and I'm the only one who can do it. It sounds like you can't trust anyone else to get the job done. Why should I? I never said you should. I know how it feels. Don't pretend you understand! Enough with this thoughtless prattle! I have work to do! Let's get this over with. Out of my way. I am ready. The lion. in the hunt. Yeah. What is the logical cause? Ah. Ah. Much to learn. Okay. Come in, if thou darest. I am ready. Nighthood, bring your shade. Nighthood, bring your shade. An interesting... <sighs> Magic missile? What next? <laughs> Out of my way. Why are we attacking the cleric? That's so rude. Stay strong. Come in. Hey, Andy. Oh, I didn't mean to. Okay. I am ready. The I would like to analyze him, though. Okay, so. Oh, wind. That's a thing I don't have. Next. 
Stop attacking the cleric, you little dick. It's, it's in fear! My turn. He won't stop! A little creep? I'm ready. Stay strong. What next? <sighs> I am ready. Hey, Dana. I am ready. A miracle like Noah. Coming. Oh, I don't have my controller. I am ready. Out of my way. You're too yeah, even though we were at full health, HP Thief hits twice, even without being boosted. So. But that is good. It looks scary. Letting the hunt begin it. An interesting dilemma. Sacred light to chase the darkness. Ready. Out of 
out of my way. Damn. What next? Where did I get lightning bolted from? Good morning. Good morning, Flayna Bopper. It is for me. It's 8 a.m. Almost 9 a.m. now. So rude. My turn. And that's that. <laughs> oh, I only have a schedule. Bed hair reduction one. <laughs> what do you mean? When I can. <laughs> oh, sorry. He said it's disgraceful. Uh, I only have a healthy schedule. What do you mean? Somewhat healthy. <laughs> um, I'm only I'm only on a regulated schedule because uh, Gull works a nine to five, so I have to be up in the morning to do breakfast and stuff. And now back to Boulderfall. I'm sure Heathcote's got new orders for me. Horrific. Oh. I'm back. <laughs> back again. I'm so glad to see you safe, Mr. Therion. Where picks? I don't do anything special. For uh, for breakfast, I literally just put butter on a bagel. It's not anything worth taking a picture of. But don't worry, we'll be getting lots more dinner pictures once I uh, once we get HelloFresh on Friday. I brought the Dragonstone. This is indeed the Ruby Stone, without a doubt.
Yeah, but those actually were my special ones. Like, when I would wake up and make, like, eggs and sausage and fruit. And then Gull said that she didn't like the fruit and got bored of the breakfast, so now we just make bagels in the morning. You have my gratitude. He is simply upholding his half of the deal, milady. He deserves no such thanks. After all, he has yet to return the two remaining stones. <laughs> I think he's earned the removal of the band. Stop and think about what you're saying. I beg your pardon? You can't guarantee I'll fulfill my promise if you remove this now. I believe you would. And why is that? You're a good guy. You don't strike me as someone who would abandon responsibility. And you strike me as someone with too much faith in people. Take it from me. No matter how much you trust someone, they will betray you. So do yourself a favor and build your walls up higher before you get hurt. Mr. Therion? Please, milady, that's quite enough. Though I hate to admit it, he's right. It's best not to remove the band just yet. If you insist. So, where's the next stone? After a bit of digging, I found it to be in Wellspring. Any idea where in Wellspring? That town is home to a black market. What does he know about the black market? Only those involved with the business are supposed to know. I knew he was no ordinary butler. He is one hell of a butler, though. The Emerald Dragonstone is being sold there. Or so my sources say. I'll be on my way, then. Good luck out there, Mr. Therion. You don't need to see me off again. It's a waste of time for both of us. She's gonna fix him, chat. Farewell. Please, don't burden yourself with him, Miss Ravis. Even that man has dignity to uphold. Dignity? <laughs> he can be by. Though he may live an unscrupulous life, his skills as a thief keep him alive. Naturally, he has pride and confidence in these skills, but we use them against him. And I can imagine he feels great frustration when shown compassion and consideration by the <laughs> very ones who duped him. If he did not feel such, I would not think him suitable for the job. I, I see. He is a man with a lot of pride. Milady? My apologies, Heathcote, but I can't help thinking of that lonesome look on his face. It reminded me of myself. Is that so? Yes. His words may have been harsh, but I could tell that his true feelings were different. And so Therion's journey continues. His next target, the Stone of Emerald. So he sets forth for the town of Wellspring in the Sunlands. 
the den of villainy that awaits within. The den of scum and villainy. I might get all the way down here. <laughs> nice one, Pedro. Good, good vlog. <laughs> also, you can just straight link it. Or I think if you do exclamation point throne, it also does it. Alright, so... It's more funny this way? Gotcha. Alright, so... Tressa and uh, Cyrus's in Quarry Crest is next. So where am I right now? I'm here. All right, so let's head out. What is Cactus Cat? Um, so do you see the little um the bit badges and the uh, sub icon? Um, that's like what my, uh, mascot would be. Because I know that you and Pedro were scheming behind my back. Pedro can't lie to me. So that's what the, uh, the mascot would be. <laughs> I've got better things to do. I didn't do no scheming. Mm -hmm. Come in, if thou darest. I am ready. The moon light falls. I will not be thy prey. way I am ready the show is over oh wait I should get I should get Tressa actually because Tressa's gonna need a level to be on on the team. Uh, where's the inn? How oh, did I ever find what I needed for this guy? So Apparently I did. The Lucian. This is a tower. Okay. Change party, get Tressa. Outfit Tressa. I forgot we needed her.
And we're going south. I've done my research on you. Just let me know that it wants yes. Kind of weird. It was my VTube Studio was just like V Bridger would like access to your VTube Studio, and I was like, I'm pretty sure it does already. <laughs> but what the heck do I know? Yeah, the one that I totally clicked on. For sure. No cap. Letting us begin. In. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even look at it. Because I was like, I'm not opening that spooky thing. No harps on the map. Level 20. Oh, there is a harp on this map. Monkey! God, the thing is hatching. Out of my way. Here I go. <laughs> Coming if thou dare. Now, what 
Stop talking to the robots, Pedro. Yeah, I know. That's why I was... <laughs> I don't remember if you DM'd me or if you put it in Discord and was like, should I click on it? And I'm like, no, you fucking idiot. What do you mean? I've done my research on you. What to do? Great content for who? Yeah, that's what I was like. I was like, are you serious? Like, you want to be dealing with, like, bank fraud and having to reset all your passwords and change your card again? Like, sometimes I worry about you, Pedro. <laughs> you, you... You act like the type of people who have, like, a danger fetish. And, like, you know, you're an adrenaline junkie. Except instead of jumping off of, like, like bungee jumping or jumping out of airplanes, you click suspicious links that might kill your computer. Fire amulets. <laughs> oh, okay, dude. Oh, okay. This is the beginning of your end. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, do it like that. That's the cat. Shit. Um. Um. Try this on the side. You got more than you bargained for. Wait, no. How do I get to how do I get to the thing? Come <laughs> on. 
Dark Forest. Oh wait, let me. Why am I so dumb? Standest thou against me? Then be hunted. My turn. I missed. Awkward. What next? Now, what next? Let in my Thou didst fight with courage. How do I get... It says that there's a thing here. Is it, like, down below? How do I get down there? This is the beginning of your end. I might have to look this one up. Now this is where I started. Let us begin. Come in. If There is a thing. I just, why is this added? Like, I don't get it. Okay, because we have to do mod stuff, okay. Sorry, I, I had to go and check why, as always, I'm, again, I love, I love the Minecraft server, but goddamn, they at people for just the weirdest things. I'm just like, why, why am I getting added for this? Right oh, maybe it's above. <laughs> Didn't seem like it was, but... Yeah, what else is new? <laughs> Let him... 
Oh, I didn't mean to use the bow. Thankfully, it didn't matter. It doesn't look like it is, though. Yeah, because that's Cory Cross. So, how do you get to the. Alright, hold on. Out of my way. Alright. What, what map are we on right now? We're on South Cory Cross Pass. How do you get to the shrine? Uh, Octopath Traveler, South Quarry Crest Pass Shrine. Um, okay. So this one is the thief one, unfortunately, which we don't really care about. But I would like to unlock it anyway. But how do you get... It says you can find it under the bridge. Okay, but how do you get under the bridge? Well, what a guide, ladies and gentlemen. Just do it, idiot. <laughs> Well, that would imply that maybe it's easy and I'm just dumb. Ready or not, here I come. An interesting dilemma. Oh, I'm just dumb. I'm just dumb. What to do? Oh, I didn't do this correctly. Okay. My turn. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. No dumb. Yes, dumb. Dumb, dumb, da dumb, dumb, dumb. <laughs> Smart. Mm hmm. Some money left in here. Hello, 
smoke. I am Aber, Prince of Thieves. Unto thee who dost boldly venture to this place, I impart the knowledge of the heavens. I have not, no. But I also don't watch Twitch, so... What do I know? I'll make this quick. Come in. My turn. my way. <laughs> what to do? God. <laughs> God damn it, I should have said that. Oh, I thought that trade wins was AoE. You won't fool me with that again, Pedro. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Yeah, that definitely does seem a lot better. Well, that'll be nice if that's, like, actually how they, like, implement ads for everyone. Because, yeah, I agree. Like, essentially, a, a picture in picture is annoying. But it's, like, very similar to how it's done on televisions. Which is why they do it, I imagine. Oh, we're so close. That's right, I have business here.
Now, where did I leave off? That wasn't her voice at all. Every journey is a vast sea of opportunities, but none are quite so precious as our encounters with others. Sharing a connection with someone new for however brief a time is unforgettable. For it is a chance to learn about others and yourself. I'll rest here tonight in Quarry Crest. It's a sleepy little mining town, for now at least. Rumor has it it's there's rumor has it there's gold in these there hills, and many a prospector has set their eye on it. I wonder what encounters might audit me or audit me. Might await me here. This must be Quarry Crest. I'm going to have a hard time trying to get Tress's voice right. It's not really one that I can do. The voice of someone with excitement and... Like, untouched optimism of the world. Could there really be gold here? Eureka! <laughs> gold! Abstract gold! Now this is something to write home about. Well, that was convenient. Huh? Where there's one, there's more, and I'll find them all. <laughs> Not if I find them first. No way. I guess there really is gold in these there hills. I made that joke. <laughs> Something tells me there may be a good place to set up shop. This may be a good place to set up shop. Stay your hands. It's Mr. Morlock. Good to see you. All toiling so earnestly. Who's this Mr. Morlock? <laughs> Look, sir, real gold. How much you reckon it's worth? Mm. Let me see that beautiful nugget. Hmm. I'd be happy to take it off your hands for a reasonable sum. I'll say it once more, so listen well. This mine and all the land surrounding it is the sole property of the esteemed Mr. Morlock. As such, any and all gold discovered here is his by right. But fortunately for you, Mr. Morlock is a generous man. He'll buy the gold off anyone who finds it. So keep digging, and you may find yourself with riches beyond measure. Yahoo! Indentured servitude and forced labor. That we pretend is our jobs. Looks like this Mr. Morlock fellow has an iron grip on this mine. I guess that means I won't be dealing in gold here. But still, my merchant senses tell me this town presents a lucrative business opportunity. I can take advantage of these poor people, too. This smells like trade, I say. Hmm, and what sort of smell would that be? Hmm, how do I put it? The smell of wares flying off the shelves of coin earned fair and square? Thou speaketh of profit. Well, yes, in a manner of speaking. But trade is more than that. It's about adventure, stories waiting to be told. 
A noble calling, then, than the pursuit of base coin. Exactly! If thou speaketh the truth, I shall join you, join in you on sniffing of the, out this trade. Two noises are better than one! I dig and dig and dig and still can't find any gold. Curse my bad luck. I thought it would be my chance to turn it all around. I was such a fool. I even borrowed money to get this far. How could I ever face my wife again? Hmm. What's that? Excuse me, sir. I'll buy these stones from you. You will? We will? I don't think I will. What do I need them for? Exactly. I don't need the. Why would I need to buy them when I could just steal them? Alright, where's the. Is there not a saving thing in this town? down here. I'm dumb. I forgot that I... Of course. Waste of my god dang time. Pay for it instead. So I'm just such a nice person. Alright. Now that I have done all that, now I need to go and scrutinize all of the people that have like a pretty high chance of failure for some reason. And like reset if I waste shit and it turns out I didn't need to. Stop committing crimes. I didn't commit that one crime because it wasn't worth the 8% or whatever it was for 3,000 gold. Okay. 
So. <laughs> Planet Popper, Shy Lily sub? Hmm? Oh, I don't know if I ever... I didn't go over here. Shit. That's fine. I'm gonna have to... Fortify Nut? Yes, please, ma'am. I was gifted. Mm-hmm. Sure you were. Deception. Disgrace. Alright, um, actually, I'm gonna reset here. Because I didn't realize I didn't go over there. Why did you get gifted, hmm? You know, you only get gifted if you are in channels. And you've been there, so... You said you only watch me, hmm? How did you get a gift to Shy Lily stream, hmm? And they're only one time, I promise. Mm hmm That's why you're using her emotes more than my emotes? Hmm? Hmm? The emotes that I definitely have? Hmm? Save our game here, and then we'll start scrutinizing. Oh, I get no! I'm not gonna be a fucking egg. I refuse. I'm too pretty. No. Are you serious? I, no, I'm not failing that 50% three times. No, I refuse. I'm not getting an egg. I don't... I want to be pretty. I don't want to be bald. Yeah, I'm not. I am saying that, yes. I'm saying that... Yeah, I am. I'm not going to backtrack. I don't think that I would look pretty bald. God fucking damn it, it's a 50%, just give it to me! No, I, I have such a huge for- No, chat. No, don't do this. Don't make me put a bald redeem. Please. I'll cry. Ercy, are you still here? Probably not. I have so many things I want to do, and yet I'm you. You guys will fund bald. <laughs> then love my head with hair on it. <laughs> oh my god, that guy's so strong. Ugh, I don't care uh, that much about it. Are you hiding under there? A gigantic forehead is what I'm hiding. <laughs> I 
Also, I don't think that Ercy actually has to draw anything, though. I think... I could just ask her to, like... Rig my hair coming off. <laughs> it's so... I'm being bullied. Wait, never mind. I was considering it. Now you guys are just being mean. Undeniable. I don't give a fuck about that. No. Plain of Popper is right. I have a huge head. Uh -huh. How can anybody love me with such a giant head? Wait, what, what did he have? Oh, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Fifty six percent for nothing. Yeah, why was it... It's messaging me, hold on. Uh, sure. If you break my shit, I'm gonna be pissed. Sorry, it's me, just ignore. No, I know, I I have Discord up on my other monitor. Um, because it was um it like doesn't Why is it not never mind. Uh, because my stuff wasn't like you know what I'm trying to say. The fact that the golden axe is still better than the best thing is, is it's so good. Yeah, the the golden axe was the thing that I stole at the beginning that was like a 3%. Right.
You have use of my goods? Bless you. Always looking for, always looking for a bargain. I can't sell you these to you in good conscience. They're just lousy rocks. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. But I insist. I'm a merchant, and I feel like there's more than these to these than meets the eye. Why, thank you. In that case, they're all yours. Thank you kindly. Here, boy. Give me all your bits. Planet Popper just cheered 273 bits. Sorry for mean. Oh, Planet Popper, you were mean. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'll put the I'll put it on throne. I'll ask uh, Airsy, or I can um actually ask um Mooney when he does my um uh. Whatever it's called, my, um... <laughs> Here's money for the bald dog. <laughs> um, I'll ask Mooney if he could, when he ends up doing the uh, lingerie model, uh, if he could just add in a, a bald toggle for me, I guess. <laughs> So mean. Haha, -ha, I knew it. Underneath that grimy exterior was a gorgeous gem just waiting to be discovered. Hey, Dials. You've quite the eye, young lady. Huh? Pardon? Oh. Hey, those are the same stones I bought. Right, you are. I'm a traveling merchant. Allie's the name. I'm Tressa. I'm a traveling merchant too. I've never seen stones that glow quite like these. They look like ordinary rocks at first, but it'll take more than that to fool me. <laughs> you have no idea what you bought, do you? Should I? Indeed. These are sky stones. They're rare, but you can find them if you know where to look. At first, they're perfectly unremarkable rocks, but apply some quality elbow grease. And you have yourself a gorgeous gemstone. No way. I had no idea, even though I literally just did that. And still, you bought all those stones? Heck of a green pea you are. What? Green pea? See you around. Well, keep up the good work. See you around, green pea. Hmm. <laughs> Indeed. Also, I don't know if I said it enough, but thank you, Flana Bopper, for the uh, 273 bits. <laughs> Hmm, green pea. He's just a mean pea. <laughs> Got him. But I don't have time for that now. I have stones that need selling. Hey, Chesticle! Step right up. Come one, come all. Be the first to get your hands on one of the rarest treasures in the realm. I will take a drink. Thank you. Gold? <laughs> nope, it's better than gold. Now feast your eyes on this. The Shimmering Sky Stone. I bet you the uh, owner is gonna show up and be like, nope, pluck, that's mine. 
Look how it sparkles. Let me see. Well, quite the beauty, isn't it? Why, I... I've never seen anything like it. It's absolutely breathtaking. Yes. But did you know the Sky Stone's radiance is surpassed only by its rarity? So if you'd like one of your own, this might be your only chance. I see. I'll take one. Splendid. Hey, Robobo. Oh, me too. Those stones practically sold themselves. Yeah. This place really is good for business. Time to stock up the shop. Well, we made our return on investment. Why, I'll be... A sky stone, huh? A significant discovery to be sure. Do you know much about the Sky Stones, Professor Albright? I dare say I've read a book or two about them. I can say they are a type of ore, but I failed to recognize the stone for what it was, even when it was put before me. But your eyes saw true. Perhaps it is your merchant's instinct at work? Maybe. Honestly, I wasn't certain those, stone ro th those rocks were so valuable. But in trade, good opportunities don't come by every day. So you just have to roll the dice when you see one. Indubitably. I must confess, I was quite impressed at the way you managed to sell all those stones. Seeing the potential for trade in every part of life, you are a true merchant's merchant. It is a clever game you play, Tressa. I hope to see more of it. It's a deal, Professor. Indubitably. Can I not steal? Fuck. Oh, hey, Dials. I mean, hey, it's a... It is a problem to have. I hope you enjoy your forced vacation. And that's... A really long vacation that's like three weeks good for you get some nice deserved rest
can be the proud owner of these lovely gems for just a fraction of her prices. What? <laughs> what a dirty trick. Setting up shop right next to me? I won't go down without a fight. Yeah, what a dick. They certainly are beautiful. But what makes your stones different from hers? You won't find purer sky stones anywhere. Just look at them. You can see all the way through. Not a single blemish or impurity to be found. Dazzling, is it not, milady? Almost as dazzling as your eyes. Well, when you put it that way. Resorting to cheap flattery. Does he have no shame? Do you have a daughter, my good sir? That doll's a boulder fall name, no? A precious gift for a precious little girl, no doubt. Indeed it is. Ah, clearly you're the type of father who wants only the best for his darling child. What a hard worker you are, Niles. Do you truly believe that doll will suffice? The Sky Stone is as pure, innocent, and beautiful as a daughter's love. Every time she sees its radiant glow, she'll remember her dear father who gave it to her. Its light will connect her to you, no matter how far you may travel. Dear father, where do you roam? Dear father, when will you come home? Surely you can see why this would be the best purchase you'll ever make. I can just see her smiling face now. What a pleasant young man. Yeah, I'll take one. You're most welcome, my good sir. Oh, what? Step right up. There's not a moment to spare if you want a rare sky stone to call your own. You won't find them anywhere else. I promise you won't be disappointed. I'll take one, please. One for me, too. Thank you. Thank you. Nah, I think he did this on purpose. He was the one that told her about the Sky Stones. So either his are fake or he intentionally told her that they were super valuable so that she would sell them at a high price so that he could sell them at a lower price. But I don't know. I can't do the Murloc. Would you look at that? Business is booming. <laughs> Your dick. Well, maybe not for all of us. You win this round. There's no way I'd lose to a green pea like you. I'll admit, I've never seen anyone make a sale like that before. Practice makes perfect. If you want to survive in this world, you need to learn how to tug heartstrings and loosen purse strings. But being a merchant is about more than just making a sale. A good merchant should understand what their customer needs and sell them what's best. What I sell may not be what they need, but it is what they want. What's wrong with a little embellishment? Embellishment? A merchant's words are like a warrior's blade. Don't forget it, Green Pea. Is it? <laughs> Let's shove him off a cliff. Mm. 
I mean, it might be. So hungry. But after that miserable show, I need to save my money. Hello there. You find us meatball, sir. You better feed me or I'm gonna be pissed. Also, those are not meatballs. Those are like it's not too bulky. It's um it's like the um the squid. What are they called? I'm gonna look it up real quick. It's like fried. It's usually like it's not fried squid balls. Like what are they called? Takoyaki. It's like takoyaki. It's not meatballs. Well, if it isn't the green pea, you're looking famished. Here. I take it you're on a tight budget now? Hmm. Keep it. I refuse to take pity food from a rival. Oh, all right. Did I ruin your V-Bridger? No. Does it look like you, you did? It looks fine to me. Nice. Do it yourself. Say. So why'd you take up this line of work anyway? You see. Both my parents are merchants, so I guess it just came naturally. And now I'm wandering the world and learning the trade as I go. Well, well. You don't say. My old man's a merchant too. In the south, everyone and their uncles heard of Marif, the I almost said ancient merchant. He was such a smooth talker, he could sell sand in the desert. But he never once told a lie. With just a few words, my dad could get anyone to buy what he was selling and make them feel genuinely happy about their purchase. <laughs> It was like magic. His words had an incredible power, one that could help people see the beauty in the things they purchase. Hmm. And then. And so I decided to follow in my old man's footsteps. Really? Did you take up the family business? Hmm. No, I ran away from home. What? I'll spare you the details. That's just how things played out. I see. It wasn't so different for me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. Now then. Well, I've got another busy day ahead of me. Better luck tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Same to you. May the best merchant win. Oh. Hmm. Well, well. You seem to be doing well for yourself. Illegal, though, your business may be. Hmm. And who are you? Hmm. Watch your tone, boy. Mr. Morlock owns this establishment, as well as everything else in this town. <clears throat> that I most certainly do. Hey, now. That's great and all, but what do you mean illegal? You may own all the gold, but these were just dusty old rocks until I polished them to a sheen. Uh -uh. That pompous attitude will get you in trouble someday, boy. As landowner here, Mr. Morlock has the right to oversee any and all business transactions he so desires. As of now, that includes the trading of your little rocks. 
doesn't now. That seems awfully arbitrary to me, if you ask me. Seems pretty... Blech. That seems awfully arbitrary, if you ask me. But that wouldn't be the first foul thing that has happened here. Or weren't you aware, Mr. Morlock? You see, the price of gold actually. is actually ten times what you're giving to your miners. <laughs> Ali. Maybe this isn't the time. Uh. It's exactly the time. They're deceiving honest, hardworking people just to line their pockets. On my honor is... <laughs> wow, what the fuck just happened? On my honor is a merchant. I won't stand for it. Uh. Omar, teach this little desert ant what happens to pests who try to stain my good name. Uh. Ready to be squashed, kid? <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Uh oh I'm stronger than I look. I'm well-versed in all the martial arts. Let's do this. Ali, the one-man army, they call me in the south. The mere mention of my name strikes fear into the hearts of any who would wrong the common man. I've killed... I'm sorry? <laughs> now I feel like he's definitely bluffing. I've killed more people than I can count, and all with one hand. Then you'll make a fine opponent. Yep. That's what I bet expected. <laughs> The one-man army? <laughs> a merchant's weapon is his words. We don't stand a chance on a real battlefield. My fight was lost the instant we came to blows. Bleh. I trust you've learned your lesson, Ant. Looks like your wares aren't selling so well. Don't worry, I'll take them off your hands. Mine? These stones belong to me, do you understand? If you're so determined to have them, though, I'll let you be my little worker, Ant. I'll be in my manor. Come find me if you want a real job. <laughs> well... JSGHGF underscore 333 just followed. Thank you so much for the follow. Just give. 333. I can't believe that, man. How dare he take advantage of people to line his own pockets? It's just dirty. Ali. I may not agree with everything he does. But I do agree with what he said to Morlock. Even if he could have been more diplomatic about it. I have to save him. Morlock said he'd be in his manor. It's time to pay him a visit. Bum, bum, pum, pum, pum. Are you going to help Ollie? That's the plan. I thought he was your sworn enemy in the trading business. He was, and is, but only in business. He hasn't been good for my sales, but it's not like I hate him as a person, you know? Don't you think this is the perfect chance to get rid of a thorn in your side? Maybe that's how thieves work, but not honest traders. He gets on my nerves for sure, but what's the point if I don't beat him fair and square? Suit yourself. I'll not be taking advice from thieves, thank you very much. She's got some steel in her bones, this one. Hmm, what did you say? Nothing important. Pay no mind to this thief. Don't let her talk to you like that, Therian. She's getting replaced, don't worry. And you're actually gonna take her job. <laughs> oh, apparently I don't get there from here.
us hunted. Let in my air. Out of my way. I can get her 5,000 ability. Unleash a highly powerful bow attack. Mastered Hunter as a secondary job. I mean, I mean it's a primary job, but... What is the point? Why let us come over here? There's nothing here. <laughs> There has to be. There ain't no... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say. There's at least something over on that way that I just walked fast for no reason. Out of me way. Do I like chorizo? I've only had it once. I think I've had it twice, actually. I put it in chili once, which to be honest, you can't really taste anything in chili. It's all like a mix of everything. But I had a chizo, ch chizo, chorizo breakfast thing from Dunkin' Donuts, which like, that is probably the lowest quality chorizo that is literally possible on this planet. And But I thought it was good. You thinking about dinner? Let's 
Slammy. And that's very different. <laughs> different product to get. Kind of similar, right? What is the logical course of action? Are they? I have no idea. I've always seen chorizo as like Jesus, uh, more of a like hamburger substitute. Because I always like think about it as like a substitute meat for like beef and tacos. And stuff like that. It's on the salami side. Oh. I'll make this quick. Let's do this. Gotcha. I've only ever seen it like, uh, in like a square package, like you would see like ground hamburger meat. Morlocks mans. <laughs> we sold five hundred and sixty money. Hold 
on one second. I didn't mean to kill the other dog. We'll capture the dogs. Is it say conscious stone? Letting my arrow fly in true. Oh yeah, it's it's definitely a I think a topic that's being brought up a lot more. And obviously it's like it's I think it's dependent on the person and I've always said that like It's definitely, as someone who has a hard time with, like, setting their boundaries and being like, no, I don't like it when people are mean to me, but, like, you know, you don't want to ruin the vibe of the stream or anything. Um, you know. I definitely struggled with that more when I started, and it took, you know, a little bit to, to learn that it's, like, if people are being considerate of you and how you might feel, like, the, the, they, one, they won't know if it bothers you if you don't say anything. And, you know, a lot of people jokingly mess around with their friends and are, like, if you, like, look at it out of context and, like, listen to conversations between friends out of context, everyone's kind of mean to each other. And it's a lot easier to say those kinds of things when, you know, you're on, like, you're, you're online and you aren't necessarily, like, Doggo! Mm -hmm. 
So it's it's definitely hard to like set those boundaries. Um, but yeah, I learned one. People aren't gonna know that it bothers you unless you say something. And then also you like reflect and like as the streamer decide the type of community that is around you. So you can, you know, choose to not let people treat you poorly. And the idea is like, oh, well, I don't want to lose a viewer or whatever, which is definitely my mindset. It was like, you know, I was like, I don't I don't want them to leave. But then I was like, no, I, if they're going to treat me like that, yeah, I actually do want them to leave. <laughs> You know, because... Sorry for my earlier comments. No, Plane of Hopper, wait. There's a difference, I think. Right? Because I don't mind people who have been here for a while that joke with me. Like, I don't, I don't see that as mean or bullying. It's a joke between two people that, like with people who have been inside of the community for a long time who are supporters and like also like because that makes a difference like you know it's very similar to how you treat friends right when you become more comfortable with friends you will say and do things that you generally wouldn't do around a new friend because you don't want them to think that you are being mean but once you like feel each other out and like understand humor and stuff it's easier and you become more comfortable and i think that's fine what isn't fine is you know somebody who comes in sporadically doesn't really participate but then is like you know like as a big example it's like the one guy that came in that had come in a couple of times and like i recognized their name so, like, it's not like they were a brand new viewer, but they came in and they were like, wow, you suck at this game. No offense. And it's like, what? There's a difference between trying to add comedy to a chat or a stream and then just being mean. Like, telling someone, oh, you suck at this game isn't a joke. It's not going to make anybody laugh. It isn't. Like, it just it doesn't add anything productive or, like, meaningful to the stream. Whereas if you're, like, you know, if you're making a joke or, like, putting an emote about being bald or whatever, like, that's not mean. That's funny. There's a difference. And the difference is important. Yeah, exactly. And there's also that too. Like there was someone who just like came into a streamer space and tried to say your content upsets me. Don't watch then. Leave. And they did. That's the worst part about it is that there are people who come in, be mean, and then never come back. And it's like, so you, you basically just ruined the vibe of the stream, made me feel bad for weeks, and then just never interacted with the content again. What was the point? <laughs> like, why, why bother doing that? Out of my way. Now, what next?
like that. <laughs> hmm, things styles. I didn't make a tweet about it, so I know it wasn't me. <laughs> I try not to make tweets about controversial stuff because, um, or like drama or anything, one, because I don't think it's necessary. Uh, and two, I, sometimes I just have the wrong take. Like, okay, so I don't know how, like, I, I cleaned out my Twitter recently, but, um, back when I followed a bunch of people, or maybe there just hasn't been any drama recently, but there was a little bit of drama on Twitter because someone was saying that they, um, like, hadn't gotten their, uh, raffle prize in, like, months. And, like, posted screenshots of them asking for updates and being promised updates and not getting them. And, like, when I read the initial, like, like, tweet, I was on the side of the person who made the tweet. Um, because I was like, I understand that it is a, like free piece of art which was most people's like um you know there's um it's like yeah it's free and everything but there is such thing as engagement bait right and that's the worry is that you know someone puts out a uh they do their giveaway tweet and they gain a bunch of followers and engagement and then they just never like put out the reward for it. And to me, that's like the same thing as any other amount of engagement tweets. Like um, one of the most popular things that like VTube bait is that they'll be like, hey, Follow me on Twitch and follow me on Twitter and I will raid you. And then they never actually do. They never follow anybody like back who tweets at them. They never raid anybody. It's just to get more followers on Twitch and Twitter. And I kind of see that as the same thing. If you are saying you're going to do a thing, regardless of whether it's free or not, like you are still getting promotion you should do what you say that you're going to do. And that was my opinion. Apparently, that was the wrong opinion to have because everybody else on Twitter was like, you're complaining over not getting free art? This, you know, artist has said that they're going through personal struggles and you are no empathy. And I'm just like, wow, I'm glad I didn't say shit because if I had, I would have been on the wrong side of Twitter. <laughs> hey, Ben, thank you. You know, so I have the wrong take sometimes. <laughs> hey, Hidden. Hey, Moss Man. Omar, how fair my coffers. Uh. Overflowing as always, sir. That's why I don't Twitter. I read stuff on Twitter and I'll have my own personal opinions, but I won't like give out my opinion on Twitter <laughs> because I. Like, I feel like I know. Usually I'm on the right side of Twitter and I'll have the same opinion as everybody else. But every once in a while, and especially it seems with, like, artists, which makes sense. I'm not an artist. So I don't know the artist struggle. Um, but, like, usually when it comes to, like, artist stuff is when I tend to be on the wrong opinion side of Twitter. And I inspect even greater profits with these stones. As if I wasn't wealthy enough already to think those dirty rocks would prove more valuable than gold. Those rocks belong to us. Perhaps Omar rattled your brains a bit too hard. 
let me remind you that this land, all of it belongs to me. So even if little ants like you manage to dig up something beneath the surface, it's mine. You don't want to make an enemy out of me. I can crush bugs like you with the bottom of my boot. Between the mines and the stones, my profits will continue to grow. It's only a matter of time before I'm the wealthiest man in the realm. <laughs> Hold it right there! <laughs> Yeah, I'm the same Wolfram. I I don't know. Like I said, even if it's free, what kind of different opinions you have with artists? It's not that I have a different opinion as artists. It's um, if there's usually like a discourse that involves artists on Twitter, I usually don't have the same opinion. Um, I'm a little bit jaded and I tend to like believe that people are like scamming or manipulating and I tend not to give the benefit of the doubt on things I tend to be a little bit harsher so you know when if an artist sadly I I see so many posts on Twitter about like needing emergency comms because of like emergencies or like taking breaks because of like mental stuff and i'm just like it feels like that's used like a sympathy card in order to not do work that you said that you would do and so i tend to be unsympathetic when twitter for artists especially tend to be much more on the sympathetic side of things and willing to give people the benefit of the doubt and being like, yeah, I know that you said that you would do this commission six months ago and you haven't done it. And it's like six months is a long time to just not do your job, you know? And my brain is like, that wouldn't fly at a nine to five. So why would you let it fly for an artist you know because because i trust me i get being tired i and i'm not saying that you should like you know work 12 hours a day with no breaks or anything but like the specific example that i like to give is like again we commissioned someone on vgen for your character here five months ago and haven't gotten it back and every time we message them they have an excuse, you know, there when I asked the last time it was like, oh, I was in the hospital because I had a blood infection. And it's like. I want to be sympathetic and be like, that's unfortunate. I hope you get better. But also, what about the other 12 weeks before you got the blood infection? Why didn't you get it done then? But you can't be an asshole and be like, you know, where's my commission that I paid for? You have to be like, okay, well, just, you know, I hope you feel better and whenever you can get it to me. And we, you know, two weeks later, asked them again and they were like, the next excuse that they gave was, oh, I still live with my family and it's hard to do not safe for work commissions. And it's like, why did you offer them then? And we said, all right, what is a realistic expectation, like a realistic deadline that you can give? And they were like, a month. And it's been a month and we haven't gotten any work in progresses or anything. Meanwhile, you know, I've been spoiled because I have people like Ersi. I have people like... um. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Hidden. And Denna, I guess, again, I, I'm from America, so we have, like, the worst, like... And I'm not saying that they should work like they work a minimum wage job. 
in America because in in America like you got to fucking work. You know, and I'm not saying that they should have to work like that. I'm just saying that like, you know, if you say that you're going to do a thing, do the thing, you know. That's all I'm asking for. And like I said, artist Twitter tends to disagree with me on that point. They 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 tend to be like, oh, yeah, no, it's totally fine. As long as they communicate it, it's fine. And it took them six months to get this art to you. And I'm like, is it? Like, <laughs> I don't think that that's fair. But, and again, I, like I said, I've been very blessed with, like, artists like Ersi and artists like the person who's wor working on my, um, I think her name is El Elazra, who's working on my mouse pad art i commissioned her less than a week ago and it's like already almost done like generally artists that i have worked with it takes a month and that's it um like usually people will be like if you commission me i will get it done within one month which i think is a realistic turnaround for art S six months i don't think is a realistic turnaround and if it's taking you six months to put out art, either you need to take less commissions until you catch up, or you need to, like, communicate that. I'm curious how they plan out their days if they do art for income. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think people who take six months to do art, I think what they do is they take commission too many commissions, then they can um that they can like they take more than they can put out it's not very professional to be fair i agree but artist twitter doesn't artist twitter says that it's fine to take that long to do commissions because <laughs> every artist is like dealing with depression and other mental and physical stuff It's not like they're reading the Sistine Chapel. It's quite simple. Right. It's a, your character here. Yeah. So like the base is already drawn. Like they just have to put my character on it. That's why I'm stingy towards up front, pay up front things. I understand why pay up front is a thing because, you know, they can just take half of the art and dip. I get it. But then they should refund. Speak. I mean, she offered to refund it, but I don't want a refund. I want the art because it looked like promising so i i i don't want a refund i want her to do what i paid for big fan of havesies yeah that's fair and most artists will allow that but some of them don't but i mean i've always just straight up i feel very comfortable with vgen so i I just usually pay full up front because if, you know, they don't do what they say they'll do, VGen will usually handle it. And I only ever commission through VGen. Come to inquire about a job, have you? Very well. Can you leave a review afterwards? Uh, yeah, you can, but it's generally pretty frowned upon to ever leave a non-five-star review because people, like, five-star reviews are, like, the norm, unless, like, something atrocious happens, which I feel like is unfair. I think you should be able to review realistically, and if I were, like... If I were reviewing this artist that I'm talking about, I would rate them, like, probably two or three. Well, right, but most people wouldn't see it like that. Most people will be like, you didn't set a hard deadline, and so you, you got what you paid for, why are you complaining? Some people don't ever get their commission. Some people have to wait years. Six months isn't that big of a deal. People on Twitter are crazy about giving leeway to artists. Like, to the point that it's not realistic. 
Did the artist have a fixed deadline? No. But I'm going to start... Well, that is their leeway, yeah. In the future, I'm putting a hard deadline of three months for all of my art, unless it's big. Um, I mean, digital artists online go through, like, VGen and have their own TOS for certain things. Um, but it depends. You know, some artists are freelance, and so they'll just take contracts with people and like some artists just straight up work for a company and are on fixed salary so it just depends on what kind of art you're doing if you're talking about like freelance online digital artists it's like a loose contract uh like if you're on vgen which is a website that is like kind of caters towards vtuber art and other services um, you send out a proposal that essentially is like, this is what I'm asking for. If I have a hard deadline, uh, this is what I need it by, et cetera, et cetera. And like, a, a t the artist's TOS, which is usually like, you know, I will refund you if I haven't sent out sketches yet. You need to pay me either upfront or in halves or whatever. Um, NDAs are like a hundred percent plus of the commission commercial rights are two to three times base commission blah 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 yeah it was my mistake because i haven't had to do one because usually either artists will set their own specified deadlines which i prefer for them to like basically account themselves because i don't like to tell an artist you know, hey, you have to have this done by a specific time because usually it doesn't... I don't need it by a specific moment. So it's like, you know, I don't want to put pressure on them. But I think three months is like... I think it's going to be my future. Like, it has to be done within three months. Because that's also the time when you can PayPal. Like, uh, refund and stuff. I'd sooner eat those rocks than work for you. You're as much of a fool as the boy is then. To think two self-styled merchants would be so averse to making money. You should know that I pay my loyal men quite well. Everyone and like has a price. I <laughs> I don't want to rag on Otter because it's not my intention, but I did tell her that I wanted to debut on the 20th of June and I still haven't gotten my files back from her yet. So I might get it on the 19th and then I have no like ability to uh, Petro, I need to. Why are you sorry about bringing up a topic? that I talked about. <laughs> like, you know I prefer people to bring up subjects so that I have something to talk about instead of sitting here silently because I'm awkward and don't know. Yeah, like, you gave me content. What are you apologizing for? I understood that. Stubborn old landlord and took control again. You what? Hey, Vic. <laughs> There's nothing that money can't buy. So, what's your price? On second thought, never mind. You're Maroof's wealth, aren't you? For all I know, you could. It's going good. good. How are you? Old man. Uh, a fraud. 
shut up. Didn't he tell you? His father's an infamous swindler in the South. He made a fortune scamming gullible sops with fanciful half-truths. <laughs> Until, that is, he got swindled himself by a trusted friend of all people. Saddled with debt, poor Maruf ended up bankrupt. A sad tale, no? Uh, uh... Ali? So what I'm thinking about right now, chat... What do you think about uh, game overlays? Because one of the things that I always worry about is like having my character cover up the screen, um, you know, certain aspects of the UI. Uh, oh, that's awesome. I'm glad that your ear is feeling better. In what sense? Okay, so you know how some people have like a game overlay where like um, it's kind of like there's a square. Hold on. Instead of explaining it in a stupid way, I can just show you an example. No. Yes, that is involved, but that's not exactly what, I, what I'm what i specifying, because I probably wouldn't do stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I I show, because I have one. Um, overlay. Uh, let me see. Streaming aspects? No. Uh, picture. Nope. It's in Selene. Art. Yeah. Twitch stuff. Uh, pixel art overlays. Oh. God damn it. I'm an idiot. Um, because I forgot it's a media file. A media source. Um, no relay. Oh, God, flashing. So it would be like this, except bigger. Hi, chat. Um, so I wouldn't, this is just an example. I wouldn't use this because I. Excuse me. Hold on. Loop. Okay. There we go. So like an example is I would make this like bigger. But it's like, you know, one of these where there's like a little uh, bot, there's like a box where the game goes and then a little thing over on the, one of the sides that like the VTuber goes or like the webcam would go for like a normal streamer and then chat. Because, you know. I've always wondered, like, what's better to do, right? Because, like, I personally think that overlays take up too much of the screen. Um, because they, like, that overlay is an example. It takes up, like, almost a fourth of the screen on the bottom there doing really nothing. So, like, for me, um, I would, like, put, um, hold on, let me... And put it like here yeah and then like where am i i'd be like over here and then i'd put the chat thing a little higher and put chat over there then like i personally don't like them because like i said i think they take up too much and i think there's like too much clutter um, and you just, in order to keep, like, aspect ratios correct, you can't, like, you have a little bit too much going on at the top and the bottom. And I'm just thinking about it because I think Nixie uses an overlay. Let me look up Nixie real quick. 
Let's see, VTuber. Nixie. Does she have a Y? Is it Nixie? Yes. Okay. I think I recall from watching the um um the thing that she uses an overlay. Or no, she doesn't. I'm just crazy. I thought she did. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go to her Twitch real quick. Uh... Oh, she's doing just chatting right now. Uh, I didn't think she would be live. Let's go to one of her videos. I love her new model, by the way, though. Yeah, okay, so Nixie has, like, a very small overlay. So let me, like, because that would, I would, would be what I would use as an example. I agree, yeah, yeah, Um, hold on. Um, do I have my new monitor? Yeah. So, so this, oh, God. So this is Nixie's overlay, which, like, is barely an overlay, you know? Like, it's, like, on the sides that, like, at the bottom it shows, like, her hashtag for her art and whatever. And then she's got chat and herself on the right side. And there just there isn't anything technically on the left side, like the overlay doesn't even stretch. It basically just goes like. So that's like not even really an overlay that adds much of anything, in my opinion, but that was like kind of what I was thinking of. Um, probably sub. Uh, like sub thing, she's doing a, a subathon right now. Yeah. <laughs> what it has plan of opera cheating yeah I was just that's what I was thinking of in my head was you know should I think about getting one of those but I probably won't. It's just a thought. The poor, stupid fool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I moved this over on the wrong screen. See that one more time. One sec. Thanks. Yeah, there I think there are some games I think um usually no that's wrong. Um Uh, like GBA games and stuff, because they tend to be, like, smaller in aspect ratio anyway. Insult my father's name one more time and I'll... My father was a good, honest man. <laughs> he sold his customers what they wanted, and his words made them happy. I 
Well, maybe. Your father was nothing but a lousy, lying dog. Oh, trust me, I know. I used to be a shiny hunter. I have so many bad overlays that I made. <laughs> Second-rate peddlers like you and your old man should shut up and die like the paupers you are. You son of a what a jerk. Oh no. All I see is that name. If you won't work for me, I'll just find another way to make money off of you. She's become my rival and she doesn't even know who I am. It's better than nothing. <laughs> Mr. Morlock. Never in my life have I heard someone spout such cruel words. Your coffers may be overflowing, but you're still morally bankrupt. Oh, go on. You make a mockery out of others like you're getting paid for it. You cheat your workers out of their hard-earned money and monopolize their profits. If anyone's a swindler here, it's you. It seems you've forgotten your own manners. Omar. Let's help the girl remember her place. <laughs> uh huh. I'm sorry she she taps into a market I could never hope. I could never hope to tap into. The prepubescent, <laughs> the prepubescent body looking VTuber. That'll never be me. Oh, thank God he has a dagger. Dagger weakness. She does not look creepy, but I... I think she does. <laughs> but, you know, that's just my opinion. And I tend to have a very harsh opinion on, like, stuff like that. So don't don't take anything I'm saying seriously. <laughs> Who? Uh, Skew-chan. Skew? Skew? How do you pronounce it? Scoo. Scoo Chan. She just has like a. I don't think that's what she's intending. It's just how I see it. She has like, you know, the, the typical anime style where she has a pretty big head. Like she has in Bass Beauty. Yeah, like she looks underage. I think so. That's. Uh, but I think a lot of YouTubers unintentionally do because they have like. She has, like, a big head, a very, very small body, like, it, like, it's kind of in the shape of, like, a lowercase l, like, small boobs, like, it just tends to look younger when, like, you don't have, like, hips in any way, and it just kind of looks like, you know, an l, essentially. <laughs> But again, don't listen to what I'm saying. Art is really hard. My arrow fly in true. From, my from my name. No! And it would be... No, it would be one. But no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I think that... It's really hard to depict VTuber models. Because a lot of anime artists... Draw them like that. Because that's the style of Japan, which is where VTubing comes from. And I just don't like it. It's like, I wouldn't look at that and go, oh, I really love that VTuber, she's really hot. Like, <laughs> what next? Huh? 
No, I... Fuck's sake, why couldn't you have gone next? Oh, you dick. Um... No, don't say things like that. I'm not implying anything towards anyone. That was not my intention by saying that. I'm just saying that... I'm having that issue... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm having that issue with the person who's drawing... Not, I'm not having an issue with her. I'm having that same issue with the art that's being drawn for the, um... For the mouse pad. She drew... And I showed it to multiple people, so it wasn't just me. Uh, she drew Celine quite young looking. And I was like, this this is gonna have to get fixed. Because I'm like, I, this is not... And we've been steadily working on it. Using this. Can it be what's his face's turn so that he can take a turn and heal everyone? He fucked up. <laughs> oh no. I shouldn't have said anything, I'm sorry. I should have just kept my mouth shut. I apologize. I wasn't implying anything negative towards anyone. Letting the hunt begin it. Also, I love how you use the term IRL model. <laughs> Can you stop a wee, okay? <laughs> Using this. Why did oh it chooses a random target so bad? What is the logical course of action? A miracle like Noah. Trying this. I haven't heard much about it. So maybe. Oh, 
Also, Hidden, thank you for the bits. I'm so sorry. I was too busy trying to cover my tracks because I was not media trained and that was a poor thing to say and I shouldn't have said it and now I feel bad. Because I don't want anybody to think like negatively of her or Pedro or anyone. And I didn't thank you, so thank you. Trying this. I'm on it right now. Trying this. You're right, Smoke. I'm sorry. What a dick! Again, stand strong. Sorry. What's Oh my god. What a dick. Using this. Of course, of course, yes, please. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thankfully she went a second time. Yeah, I need to heal everyone. What did I eat for breakfast? I had a bagel with sausage. Nope, no eggs. Eggs make me sad. Oh, I fuck. Out of my way. You're too. Out of my way. I should have used the thief skill, but it didn't. Oh, cool. Oh, 
Oh. Allies. <laughs> Again, stand strong. Come in if thou darest. A miracle like no other. Finally, fuck off, dude. Anything she uses, it's so annoying. What next? Now, what next? Much to learn. Oh, okay, so they were weak to um whatever it's called. Trade wind. Oh my god, that fight How is that? was so annoying. Thank god for Cyrus and his ability to heal people. Shout out to Anze, wherever you are, for telling me about those fucking shrines. Because not having a healer on that fight would have made it impossible. Uh, Omar, and after all I spent on you. Good morning, Midgard. Give up, Mr. Morlock. You've lost. Now apologize to Ali for what you said about his father. Hmm. Greenbee. Hey. Well, Mr. Morlock? <laughs> I... I... I'm so terribly, profusely sorry. I, I take it all back, every word. So... Good. I take it you'll be leaving this town never to return. L leave town, but I... Not so fast. Being a good merchant is all about timing. You need to know when to cut your losses. Or haven't you heard of sunk costs? What to do? I foresee great misfortune in your future if you stay. C Come, Omar. Better opportunities await us. Good riddance. Now to find someone honest to run this town. Tressa. As much as I hate to say this, I owe you one. And you have my word. Morlock said about my old man. It's oh, but it I was, was reading chat. Spread by competitors who were jealous of his talent. And while it's true, yeah, fuck this guy. <laughs> deceived by his friend and forced to take on his debt, it doesn't diminish the things he taught me. Our words have the power to make our customers happy. So I'll follow in my father's footsteps. Work hard and go back home with enough money to pay our debts in full. Ali. Say, have you ever heard of the Merchant's Fair? 
It's the greatest auction in the realm held each year in Grandport. The wealthiest and most influential people the world over come to feast their eyes on treasures beyond your imagination. They say there's nothing you can't buy at the Merchant's Fair. That sounds incredible. I'm going to go there and make my dreams come true. If you can make it at the fair, you can make it anywhere. You really do have a way with words, Ali. Guess I'll be seeing you in Grandport. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> I want that captain back. To have our rematch. He was cooler. What better place to settle the score than the merchant's fair? <laughs> I'll bring my best treasure. If you think you stand a chance, I suggest you do the same. I'll find the greatest treasure there is. You'll see. The greatest treasure is the Once friends we made along the way. At the fair. I'll be the one drawing the largest crowd. He undersold us. Like, he literally set up shop next to us and said, Hey, I'll give you what she's selling for half the price. Fuck that guy. They won't stick around for long after I get there. <laughs> You're sounding less green already, Green Pea. See you at the fair. Sharing a connection with someone new, for however brief a time, is unforgettable. After we met, all I wanted to do was forget Ali. He sure knows how to make a lasting impression. Now, I think I've found a good arrival in him. Funny how things turn out, no? And now I know my final destination. Grand Port and the Merchant's Fair. For now, I'll follow in the footsteps of the nameless traveler and make for Victor's Hollow. There I'll find myself a treasure beyond my wildest dreams. All right, I'll be right back, chat. Take this chance to get up and stretch. Get to drink, refill your water, or whatever it is that you're drinking. I'll be right back in like a minute.
I'm back. Oops. All right. And we're... Oh, no, we have to stay here for Cyrus. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so we have to find the inn. I think it's down here. No, it's not. I'm dumb. I'm dumb and I'm stupid and I've never been right. Oh. I totally did that on purpose. That was intentional. <laughs> so this is Quarry Crest. It's hard to believe it's been ten whole years since Odette left the Academy. And her house was... Ah, oh, that's right. She left directions in her letter. I should take another look. You have all the markings of a great scholar, Cyrus. But allow me to offer you a word of warning. For all... I'm a failure. I know that your research is more important to you than anything. But you d would do well to give some thought to how you treat the fair sex. You are more handsome than you give yourself credit for. Oh my god, is every woman in love with him secretly? And he's just too dense to realize it? If you are not careful, you might find your words and actions misconstrued by those around you. <laughs> I should have known better than to read that again. The first time I read it, I nearly fell over laughing. Now it seems almost prophetic. To think I'd be banished from the Academy because of a trumped-up scandal like that. I can just see Audet laughing at me the moment I mention it. <laughs> but there's no point worrying. I have to face her sooner or later after all. <laughs> I try to keep myself presentable, this is true. But is my face truly so easy on the eyes? Oh, woe is me. Doomed to never realize the full depths of my good looks and charisma. They should have made the man look at him, too. Hi, Petros. Nice having you while you're here.
Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't mean to come here. Shit. I was trying to find the inn so I could switch out Tressa forever. Here we are. Yes, yes, I'll be right there. It's been some time, Odette. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> You're still here. I guess I'm not suffering from fatigue-induced hallucinations after all. It's me, Odette, in the flesh. Good to see you as hale and hearty as ever. And you're as insufferable as ever, no doubt. What are you waiting for? Come in already. Don't mind if I do. How did I know that would be your reaction? We were practically joined at the hip back in the day. Just watching you go about was fun in and of itself. I always had a hunch you'd end up in trouble with the ladies, but to think it would happen with the princess of all people. Hey, King Fang. Somehow, you've managed to exceed even my wildest expectations. By expelling me, they hope to protect Her Highness's good name. Needless to say, there's no truth in any of this. Oh, of course, of course. I'm sure it's all as you say. Her Highness and this Teresa are just your pupils. They have no romantic interest in you in the slightest. You're something else, Cyrus. But it's a relief to find your powers of observation are as keen as ever. Yeah, because she's trying to go for like an old English British -y style. Well, did you come all this way just to entertain me? If so, congratulations on a job well done. Save your congratulations for another time. I've come in search of a certain tome. Are you perchance familiar with From the Far Reaches of Hell? A cheery title if I've ever heard one. I can tell you that it's a compendium of ancient rites and rituals. Not that I've read it myself, of course. Hold on. I think I recognize this music from a D and D game that I used to play, and I have to ask the DM if they use this music. I know that much. I was hoping you could tell me more. Not much more. It touches upon necromancy, I believe. Necromancy? Necromancy. That said, as to what extent, I know little. It's uncanny, I'm pretty sure, that they did. I'm just waiting for them to respond to me, and they probably won't for several hours, so I don't know why. 
expecting a DM any moment now. <laughs> oh, did they stop doing voice acting suddenly? Yeah, they did. Is that supposed to be flattering? All right, just give me some time. As soon as I tackle the little pickle I'm dealing with at the moment, I'll do some investigating. Oh. Oh, a pickle, you say? Consider my interest piqued. I love pickles. I always took you for the type who chewed up and spit out your problems before pickles they could become. Again. Oh, is that what that saying means? If you're in a pickle, it means that you've let something, like, brine for a long time, and it's turned into something new and an issue. I never really thought about I always wondered why they would call getting into trouble getting into a pickle. Again, I find your flattery lacking. Anyhow, since you're here, perhaps I can put you to use. As it happens, a number of people have gone missing of late. Oh, absolutely! They, they use this music. Hold on. I need to find out what specific song this is. I'm sorry, chat. I know this has nothing to do with you and you probably don't care. But I have to know. Octopath Traveler OST. I know that they use this music. I, I've heard it a million times. Um... Why did I... Why do I always Google it and not just... I wish I knew what the name of this track was. Of course, it's all in fucking Japanese. I wonder if they use other music from Octopath Traveler. Because now I feel like I recognize all of this music and I'm like, I don't think that that's true. This right here. Okay, sorry. I just, I had to send that to my DM because I was like, D did you use this? I know that you did, but my brain oh, needs confirmation, so. Sheldon Cooper? What? <laughs> I recognized it immediately. In game. Okay, he said, ha ha, you got me. <laughs> Just so, many quite literally seem to have been spirited away. One soul went to the neighborhood provisioner to buy some foodstuffs and never returned. Another turned a street corner only to vanish entirely, leaving his friend who was strolling with him in disbelief. All told, ten men and women have gone missing in such a fashion in the past half year. Most intriguing. Original pickles is a word referred to spicy soft for meat dishes. 
and in trouble meaning in a pickle was an allusion to being as disoriented or mixed as the stewed vegetables that made up pickles. Oh. I thought pickles... Oh, right, because you're talking about the... Um... It's a meat... A sauce. Because, like, pickles are just... Um... Cucumbers that are soaked in vinegar for a really long time, right? Like, traditionally. And whenever you pickle something else, like eggs or whatever, you also let them just sit in vinegar. And it's considered pickling them. I think my explanation makes more sense. <laughs> gotcha. Big forehead finds a big brain. <laughs> I gotta make fun of my forehead. This is targeted harassment. How curious indeed. <sighs> Don't look so disappointed, you nut job. So how about it? Do you have any ideas? It would be imprudent to jump to conclusions without conducting an investigation. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'll look into that tome while you're away. As you wish. A fair trade, I'd say. Though I dare say that having the opportunity to solve this peculiar puzzle is a reward in itself. I see. It figures. Well, happy investigating. First, I should ask on dead where precisely the kidnappings have occurred. I just have this conversation. Oh, okay. Come to think of it, the three people who went missing were all last seen near the inn. It could just be a coincidence. Most intriguing. Well, it's a good thing because I gotta go to the- Aw, uh, if I have to go to the inn and it's gonna make me stop, then that means that... Oh. How did this happen? How did I get here? Well, thankfully the game is taking me to where I need to go. Eventually. A system of underground canals runs all throughout the town. I don't think anyone has ventured down there in quite some time, though. Seen it happen both in the dead of night and broad daylight. Someone's walked by the inn, they turned the corner up, up ahead, and then when I followed, they had gone, vanished into thin air. I don't want a big forehead. I don't want to look like a giant egg. And with that, I do believe I have all the knowledge I need to crack the case. It's near the inn. Hmm. Every victim was in the general vicinity of the inn when they disappeared. We can say with absolute certainty that they did not vanish into thin air or some such nonsense. Um, it happened at all hours. As such, it stands to reason that they were kidnapped. And that the kidnapper made use of a hidden path or passage to evade the public eye. The entrance to the sewers would seem to make a great, an ideal escape route. 
don't know where I got the word great from. Yes, doubtless the culprit stole underground to spirit his victims away. Thusly. I do believe I should have a look down there myself. Okay, well, that's not the end, but... Thanks for the axe, idiot! Hmm... Professor? Hmm... Hello? Professor? Ah, hello, Teresa. I almost called her Teresa, I don't know why. Teresa, why are you shouting? I was trying to offer you some sweets, but you weren't answering me. Oh, I do apologize. Once I get to thinking about a thing, I often become lost to the world. There was a time when I was so engorged in a book, I failed to notice that my neighbor's house was on fire. Wow, being able to concentrate like that must be super handy as a scholar. But it's probably best to be a little more attentive, especially when on the road like we are. You never know what's waiting around the next corner. Quite true, Tressa. Quite true. I shall endeavor to be more vigilant. Hmm. She praises my focus, but it's nothing compared to hers when she's in the midst of a business negotiation. Where is the inn in your little podunk town? Here, boy. Give me all your bits. Planet Popper just cheered 100 bits. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Even if it's to make fun of my forehead. You little jerk. Change party. Uh, we want primrose. Sorry, Tressa. Thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you so much. You're so incredibly kind and sweet. Thank you. Also, um. I think you mentioned yesterday, um, Planet Popper, due to your, not Planet Popper, sorry, um, Hidden, due to your bits, shouldn't you be in third place now? Didn't you say yesterday you were, like, 200 away? Vic, you're such a good boy. Congratulations on your third place. I didn't mean to go here. Bobber's right behind me. <laughs> They're fighting neck and neck. The girlies are fighting. And I have forbidden Gull from spending any more uh, money on bits, so there's a chance that in the next year, there's a <laughs> through giving money through the uh, the um, sound alerts, you might catch up. Why did that happen? There's got to be a button combination. It's like that's happened before, and I don't know why. Here we are. From the looks of it, these adequate predate these aqueducts predate the founding of the village itself. There is a good chance many of the villagers are unaware of their existence. This calls for a thorough investigation. Yeah, okay. But I must be wary. For all I know, the culprit could be lurking in the shadows as I speak. I will proceed with caution. After all, 
It simply wouldn't do if I became our villain's latest victim. Interesting. It looks like someone's been coming in and out of these sewers. As we expected. Muddy footprints on the floor and handprints on the wall. Recent, too. The mud is still wet. I see. That is very useful information. I must say, you have a keen eye to spot such subtle signs. It's just experience. Albeit... Experience I never thought would be useful to you. <laughs> Your experience is the result of careful study and gives you valuable skills. You see... Oh, but we don't have time for a discussion now. However interesting, perhaps I'll share my insights later. Don't worry about it. Your lectures give me a headache. Oh, too honest? A little, yes. Skellingtons! Out of my way. Nice. I don't have an Xbox, but for those who do. Also, hello, Topaz! Ow! Being bullied. Well, I knew that already. Coming, if that. <laughs> what next? Yeah. I am ready. Okay, good. She used her revive ability. We love that. For her. A miracle. Like Noah. What next? Try this. No, I didn't think he was going up next. Oh, me. I wasn't looking. Alright, thankfully he's gonna go before them though. 
Let's just waste a turn because I'm dumb. There's definitely more to this than I thought, so I'm gonna go here first. Come on, I've been uh, imagine seeing that in the sewers, though. Horrifying. Trying this. I am ready. The moonlight is. Let in the heart. I honor thee, my quarry. I'm sorry, what? Sniper saver. Saber. Brr. Ooh. That's better than what I had. Somehow. Spoopy! I am ready. Nighthood, bring your shade. You think that looks like a whale lord? <laughs> Doesn't look like a whale lord to me. I am ready. 
Naito, bring your shade. Hey, King Fang, have a good one. I will. Thank you so much for stopping by. Okay, have a good lurk. Have fun with your groceries. Get some good food. And come back and tell us what the most exciting thing that you bought is. Because I'm, I'm weird and I like to know that kind of thing. I'm very thankful for the food delivery service that we have here for groceries. It's such a pain in the ass to find time to go do grocery shopping. Good luck, soldier. My turn. What is the logical course of action? A miracle like no other. Beginning. My turn. I am ready. What is the logical course? My focus is unparalleled. I am ready. Ooh. Out of my way. Don't wait. Hey, Ori. I am ready. My turn. Oh, flames, rain, rock. Let in the hunt. 
hunt begin. Letting the hunt begin. Letting my arrow. I am ready. An interesting dilemma. Sacred lights to chase the darkness. Let him. I honor thee, my quarry. Yeah, this is like basically my party, I think. When I don't have to have someone specific in it. Um, because I realized, I was told yesterday, that I can, like, mix classes. Like, I can give someone a second class. So, if I go to the shrines, like these little harp things on the map, uh, I can uh, get jobs for people so I don't have to, like, swap out specifically for stuff. So, currently the only one that has, um, yeah, I didn't know that they existed. I didn't know what they were, um, and I never ran into one of them, like, naturally, so. Yeah, I got Cleric on Cyrus, I plan to put Merchant on Therian, and I was thinking, um, what was I thinking about doing for Permrose? Thinking about doing, um, like, Physician or whatever the one that, uh, Alphen is for Primrose, so she can be, like, my, my buffer and cleanser. I need to put Hunter on Tressa. I can. I do, I do have Hunter. But, I mean, and I'm not gonna use Tressa unless I'm forced, so. Oh, I can't do it because she's not on the party. Why does that say locked? Oh, okay, probably because somebody else is that. Got it. Would you just step on that shiny magic circle, you idiot? Most intriguing. I do say to think that there were such elaborate structures under the surface. We here? I was just about to say, isn't there a body in the background over there? Yeah, there are people. What? Oh my God, Cyrus. Hmm? He's dead. What in the? But what in the heavens is this? They look like giant, like, slurpy bottles. They look like ke like ketchup bottles with straws in them. Or like, um, oh my god, do you remember those barrel juices? They weren't even really juice, it was like... Does anybody know what I'm talking about? There was like the, the, the little juice drinks in, they used to get in like middle school or elementary school. And they were shaped like barrels. Hold on. This is important. Barrel drink. High school. Or like middle, like elementary school. Or 90s, I should say. <laughs> yeah, whatever these things are. Called hugs. Little hug fruit barrels. Here are these things. Why is this putting that over there? These things. Looks like one of those. It is important. <laughs> Never seen them. It's definitely an American thing. 
That's what those things in the background look like. They look like those with a straw in them. I am 500 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did just kind of age myself. <laughs> it's as if the blood was drained for... Oh god, we have a vampire? And what is this atop these strange patterns? Yeah, it, it was definitely an American-only thing, so... America-only thing, so... You guys won't know what I'm talking about, but those are my childhood. <laughs> Clearly, some baleful sorcery has been practiced here. These gemstones. Why, if my hypothesis is correct. It couldn't be. They must be composed of crystallized human blood. And yet, it's as if myriad hues of red are mixed together. Could it be that each gem contains the blood of multiple victims? P preposterous! Good gods, what horrors have been wrought here? How many innocents have been victimized by this blood-sucking sorcerer? At least now we know the motive behind the kidnappings. Hmm. The villain we are dealing with is no common criminal. No, I'm loath to even call him a human being. Why, I'll be... Sucking the life from the men and women of this poor town only to cast them away. It is a veritable demon who walks among us, among us. One thing is clear, this monster must be stopped before he can commit any more vile deeds. As an academic, I must confess that the history of the Dark Arts intrigues me. But to put them into practice, that is truly beyond the pale. <gasps> What's this? The young lady in the cell. She still lives. I must free her lest she suffer the same fate as the others. Yeah, 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 the pixie sticks. And who might you be? Why? Scholar of no particular repute. Cyrus, I'm going to kill you. Why do you keep standing inside of the power circle? I was passing through and could not help but notice these odd gemstones. Are they perhaps your work? And these strange glyphs, are they not runes of High Hornbergian? Are they now? The tomes of ancient Hornberg were lost long ago. No ordinary scholar would be privy to this knowledge. But how could any self-respecting academic perform such horrors? Ho oh, ho! Seems you're more of a scholar than you give yourself credit for. They still live, yes? You know what's best for you. You'll free them at once. Well, since you asked so nicely. No, I think not. <laughs> A shame. Oh, for sure. If only you hadn't come poking around in my secrets. I wouldn't have minded picking your brain. Now I'll have to settle for sucking your blood. I'm sorry? I cannot. Oh, I'm dumb. I don't know why I did that.
The hunt beginning. Summon if thou darest. <laughs> A miracle like Noah. <laughs> I'm totally sure you can, Smoke Lingers. Oh yeah, the chocolate coins were good. I never had jawbreakers or caramello bears. The lion Out of my way. Let's do this. Coming if thou. Letting my arrow fly and true. Bleh. Oh, okay. Thanks. But she doesn't get to go those turns, so am I then? Yeah. 
If thou darest. Come in, if thou darest. I am ready. An interesting dilemma. Sacred light to chase the darkness. My era. I am ready. Come in, if thou. What is the Lord? Sacred light to chase the darkness. My turn. I appreciate it, really. I am ready. Come in, if you didn't find that one was easier than the last one. The other one was spooky. Yeah, they're all still alive after all. What in the What's this? It couldn't be. A copy of from the far reaches of hell? Hmm. Well that's unfortunate. It's but an abridged copy translated into the modern tongue. Hmm. From aside, and aside from basic instructions on performing the rites and the reagents required, all other details have been all but omitted. Why, it doesn't even mention the possible uses of these blood crystals. Hmm. What's this? A piece of parchment has been inserted between the pages. Calculations on the number of test subjects required to create one blood crystal. I see. And there's a note. First specimen successfully synthesized and delivered. Delivered? Could it be that someone commissioned that frightful stone? Hmm. I can only speculate. But could whomever it be is behind this be connected to the stolen tome I seek? Where am I? Aha! Ah, you're back with us, good miss. I am feeling. Are you okay? The drugs that awful man gave you are still affecting you. Pray rest until your strength returns. Uh... Who? Who are you? Excuse me. An excellent question, my dear, and one I'd be more than happy to answer. <laughs> Wooing a poor girl just escaped from a, er, 
Okay, hold on. I'm sounding like him. Wooing a poor girl just awakened from a coma. Have you no shame? Come now. Oh, don't be silly, Odette. I was merely trying to be a gentleman. Uh -huh. Clearly. Now then. At any rate, Odette, there's a favor I would ask of you. <sighs> Another one. Note my complete lack of surprise. The truth I found on our kidnap kidnappers. I found on our kidnappers' person an abridged, translated copy from the far reaches of hell. What was that? Y you're kidding. Needless to say, this could be a tremendous lead. Thusly. I need to find out where and by whom the volume was translated. Mm -hmm. Let me have a look. Hmm. Whoever bound this sped no expense. I'm mixing their voices up. <laughs> I thought the same. There are few bookmarkers in the realm that could pr produce such a tome. <sighs> Fine, I'll help. You have my gratitude. Close enough. Hmm? Aha! Eureka! Eureka! Did you find something? The thin yet sturdy pages are characteristics of paper made from the finest pine wood. While the texture of the vivid red binding reveals it unmistakably tanned lambskin. There is only one place in the realm where both can be found in sufficient quantities. Which means that... Stone Guard. I'm certain of it. Mm -hmm. So that's where you will travel next? Yes. Where else? I must track down this tome, Odette. And I must do so before any more horrors can be unleashed upon our fair realm. I see. I wasn't asking, you know. Oh, that's so fun, Dials. <laughs> Reward. Forgive me. I care not to boast, but I have experience in hunting wild goats. Oh, now that's interesting. Their fur and hide are highly valued, especially when unmarred by wounds. Instead of using a bow, I oft build traps when I hunt goats. I see. I stalk the quarry, then herd it toward my pit or snare it until it is caught. Different means for different prey. Hunting is not as simple as it seems. In all things, thou must find in the proper way to achieve in thine goal. Wouldst thou eat soup with a fork, steak with a spoon? I mean... Steak with a spoon isn't that much more difficult, I don't think. I guess. Excellent examples both. You state your case most persuasively. You have a talent for teaching. Perhaps it is something you might pursue in the future. Me, a teacher? I think not. You seem very sure about that. I prefer the hunt. Well... Pedagogies? Pedagogy? <laughs> How do you pronounce this word? Pe 
pedagogy. Okay. Not neither of the things that I said. Okay, now I'm getting two different pronunciations. I'm getting pedagogy and pedagogues. Okay, pedagogy. Gi? Is it gi or g? Because, like, I see g e e, <laughs> but to talk <laughs> Practice of teaching. Pedagogy. Okay, thank you. Because, like, I see G. I pronounce, like, G because that's, like, a... Um... Uh, it's a Girls' Generation song, so I want to make sure I was pronouncing it right. Well, pedagogy's loss is hunting's gain, I dare say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever, dude. All right, who's next? Oh, I guess we're not done here, apparently. <laughs> You're still here. I was actually just leaving. I am. But not a moment longer. Thank you for everything, Odette. I am in your... debt. <laughs> you helped out a little here. What say we call it even? Be safe, Cyrus. So, mansplaining. I have a hunch you're poking around in something far more sinister than either of us can imagine. <laughs> I am well aware of the danger. I will exercise due caution. <laughs> due caution? I'll believe it once you put diving headfirst into whatever you think smells of mystery. A man cannot so easily change his God's given disposition. You said it was 15 years ago that the tome was stolen. That I did. What of it? As you may recall, the then headmaster of the academy died under mysterious circumstances. That very same year. And you believe the two incidents are connected somehow? No, I just like spouting valedictory trivia. But now that you mention it, the disorder following the incident would offer a convenient opportunity to misappropriate an article from the archives, wouldn't you say? Your insight is invaluable and appreciated. And I will keep this in mind. I mean it, Cyrus. Be careful out there. I will. And I'll return as soon as I get to the bottom of this. You have my word. I'll be waiting with bells on. What does that mean? Waiting with bells on. What are the bells for? There's that guy again. And so Cyrus bid Cory Crest farewell. The translated volume he recovered from the villain pointing him to his next destination, Stone Guards in the Highlands. Where the original copy of the tome he sought surely lies, Cyrus forged on in search of the truth. Traces of the tome. Eh. Midgarn, 
We don't need capitalization. Why are the girlies fighting? I don't know, but I'm about to put them both in timeout if they don't stop. <laughs> Where are we off to next? We have 23... 27, 24. Oh my god, Alfin's chapter is so far away from everybody else. Sir? Okay, so our next stop is Ophelia's chapter 2. Which means I need Ophelia. Which means I need your weapons, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I can do that now. Mm. Change party. Oh, that is so cute. I love that. That is adorable. Oh, look at, look at, um, <laughs> look at his little thief outfit. That's so fun. It is cute. Oh, now I want to see Primrose's out version. Ooh, she still keeps her. Oh, she... why not give me? Why didn't they give me? I was so excited because it looked like, ooh, ooh, I love her thief outfit. I was like, ah, oh, yes, give me like dancer outfits for everybody. And then they covered her up as a cleric. Boo. Boo. Let the girly have all of her bits out. Boo. All right. We have to get Ophelia. So what do we give Ophelia? I mean, unfortunately, all of the side jobs I have are the jobs that I have with everyone in the party. If it is classy. Yeah, but I wanted her to have her belly out and all of her. She's a dancer. Is there a glass on? I don't really care. Fuck them. I mean, I guess I'll never put, like, thief or anything on anybody, so... There, you can have thief, I guess. Thief cleric. Rogue cleric is my favorite combination of glasses, so... Alright, we've got... To trek east. Well, uh, Osiris is my healer, so she's redundant, kind of. Fire. Oh, that's sword, not dagger, you idiot.
Can you not be on the ground? Again, Why did she only heal with one HP? Assassin Rogue plus Bladesinger Wizard. Ooh. I love having Rogue, Rogue on like all classes. It's so fun. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to go in there. I think I have to go farther. This is the beginning of your end. Stop attacking her, you old jerks. I didn't mean to analyze you, you little creep. Man, this thing is tanky. What next? Warlock is also very good for that kind of thing, too. I appreciate it. Really. Oh. An interesting well, okay. Awkward. Again, this is becoming, if thou darest. this my turn now have this out of my way My 
This is just a basic fight. This is hard. <laughs> Because they keep targeting my poor cleric. So I have to waste a bunch of turns to keep alive. You should have studied harder. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or Monk. I think Monk would be a better choice. Because I think you have to have both strength and... Both 13 strength and 13 constitution? In order... Or is it only... Is it dex or strength for Barbarian? For subclassing, multiclassing, in and out of it. And wizards don't really care about strength. Even bladesingers, they want dex. I don't remember if monks get unarmored defense at level 1 or level 2. I know that uh, armor, or uh, artificer is also another popular choice because they can wear like you, you your first level is artificer and you do three levels of armor artificer so you can wear heavy armor by 50 percent of groups i've never seen it get waved but because it's usually not that difficult of a requirement to reach I mean, I don't think I've ever seen anybody try to skirt around it. I know I've always been required to do it whenever I've tried to multi-class. And then also usually you have to have like a reason as well. But I don't really play at power gaming tables usually, so. No, I don't want to go that way. I think I want to go... Where do I want to go? Let in my Out of my way. My turn now. Oh, flames. Thus ends your lesson. Sure, but you don't need strength is what I was saying, is that it would be better to go with, like, monk if you're strictly going for unarmored defense, or it would be better to go, like, armor artificer that actually synergizes with your class. You don't need wisdom. Sure. It's not like wisdom is tied to like 
half of the skills and strength is like just one of them that you can usually ignore with a dex anyway. Yeah, but doesn't does an uh, monk armor unarmored defense also scale off of con? It's either Dex or Khan, and Bladesingers want both, so. Monk is Dex Wiz. Oh. That's fair. I would just go with Armored Artificer and get heavy armor. Or wait, no, wait. You can't Blade Sing with armor on, right? Then what the fuck am I talking about? I might be thinking about every other wizard in existence that does well with Armor Artificer. And Bladesinger is one of the few that doesn't. I think you usually take like one level of Warlock in order to get the, or two levels, in order to get the uh, invocation to perma mage armor yourself. Because you don't really need unarmored defense here. Your shit is so high. As. Um. Blade Singer, anyway. And by the time, like. Unarmored defense barbarian wizard gets online, your uh, enemies are. have like a plus 12 to hit, anyway. It's online at level four. It turns on, sure, but like in order to max it out, you need to have 20 decks and 20 constitution, which takes fucking ages with ASI. Especially if your starting stats are 15 and 15. You'll need to be level 12. 13, actually, because you're subclassing ones in order to get enough ASIs to boost it to 20 and 20. What am I doing? What is with this feckin' bird? Let's try this. Let my arrow fly in Oh, never mind. It was not as tanky as I thought it was. Oh, is this how I get to that one chest? I was like, how do I get to this? Also, I'm running from these things like... Odette isn't even getting that good of experience from this. Not Odette. Ophelia. Oh, so coming down here is pointless. I see. I'm nervous that these eggs keep getting progressively more open the farther in these areas you get. Because, like, first there's no arms, and then there's one arms, and then in, like, the level 17 area, two arms are coming out. So, uh... <laughs> What's coming out of the egg, hmm? And why does it look so scary? Unless it's the birds that are around, then I'm disappointed. Time to teach you a lesson. Now, what next? Is 
Didn't I come across this bridge? I don't remember anymore. No, okay. I'll make this quick. What is the logical course? Of <sighs> Nice. Should have studied harder. There isn't a shrine on this map either. I've done my research on you. Out of my way. Oh yeah, don't I have like an ability? That, like, only usable maximum boost. Oh, okay. Well, I could still do that, though. <laughs> I need AoE skills so I can murder these things very fast and make it worth doing these fights. Because if I can do them, like, real quick, they're worth it, but. If I have to take ages and they're not. This is the beginning of your end. My turn. I appreciate it. Really. I'll do my best. May the sacred flame shine. Not bad. A passing grade. A But usually blade singers want to be using um shadow blade or flame blade because it will output more damage than just like a regular rapier now, what next? <clears throat> so you wouldn't want to be raging. But if you're not, you know, doing that, then obviously you can't it's pretty good. Bum, bum. My... Yeah, 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 okay. So now I have to go up and around. There's a quest here. Come on, I've got better things to do. I appreciate it. Really. What next? Huh? No. The hunt ends. Beedy beedy bee.
Or like Booming Blade as well, level 5. You basically always want to be casting Booming Blade because it does uh, your damage plus a d8, so it's just better than Rage. Which I forgot about Booming Blade. Eloquence Bar plus Redemption Paladin. Ooh! That sounds like a really fun multi class. <laughs> Boomer Blade. <laughs> Am I missing so much? Oh, I should have done the ice one. Sure, I guess. But... You can't really tank in 5th edition, so it's generally better to output damage since, like, like I said, once you get to a certain point, your AC doesn't really matter because the boss is going to out, like, things are going to hit your AC regardless of what it is. Like, there are tanking builds, but, like, there isn't a lot of, like, internal structure within the D&D core rule set that, like, allows for strict tanking. In terms of, like, taunting and making sure that things focus on you reliably. D&D talk, what did I miss? Nothing. We just started talking about D&D. I don't remember why. Don't start things you can't finish. Beedy beedy. Welcome back, ERC. Oh, we had a question for you. Um. Huh. My chat wants to make me an egg. What'll it cost me? For three turns, skills performed by a single chosen ally will trigger twice. Bomb. Yeah. I'll do it for 15. Does that include, uh, why am I provoking this man? Does that include, uh, rigging for it turning into a toggle? Letting the hunt begin it. Is that something like you're comfortable doing? Included for 25? All right, chat. That's how much the egg is going to cost you. 30 USD. Because I pay her in euros. <laughs> Oh, 
No, I don't have enough. This will help us. <laughs> and I'm locking it behind a paywall, you dicks. <laughs> I'm not just gonna let you make me bald for free. So what do you mean? Rework of my head shape. Can't, okay, well, th I didn't mean it like that, but now I have an actual question. Um, do you need to redraw my head for that? Or could you not just like make it a toggle that would just take my hair off? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wow. You just called you said I have a flat head. <laughs> so I'm looking for a new VTuber artist, if anybody knows any that are reliable and friendly. <laughs> DM me. Please. <laughs> you didn't have to call me flat. So sad. I just got called flat. Rude. I already wait. I am a slime. Well, I don't want to do it, but show off the booba. Um, I haven't gotten it rigged yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm still waiting for Muni to accept my proposal. I want to stream on Fansly so bad. I want to use it. I've I've had it for <laughs> two weeks or whatever. What is the logical course of action? Oh. Where's the nearest tavern? I will drink. Yeah, but apparently she has to redraw my head because my head isn't egg shaped enough. Apparently I am flat. And 
And we're all just a bunch of bullies here. <laughs> Shrine of the Healer. Oh, is this, um... Oh, is this... Yeah, this is Alphan subclass. I actually wanted to put this on Primrose when I use her. <laughs> Apparently my head is flat. I am Doter, the Charitable. Unto thee who dost boldly venture to this place, I impart the knowledge of the heavens. Apothecary is a secondary job. <laughs> Proper streamer treatment to tease bully the streamer? No. No bullying. I'm too soft for bullying. Look at that headdress. Dope. <laughs> Here, boy. Give me all your bits. Planet Popper just cheered 127 bits. No bully PLS chat. <laughs> Have you evened out your your bits? <laughs> Thank you so much for the 100 bits, Plain of Hopper. <laughs> We're evening out bits. <laughs> Yeah, Planet Popper redeemed like 273 bits. Oh. Give me all your bits. <laughs> Anzai just cheered 84 bits. Anzai, thank you so much, Anzai, for the 84 bits. Congratulations on your symmetrical or even or whatever it's called number. Both of you. Hello, sir. I haven't stolen from you yet today. Nothing. Useless. That's right, I had business here. The story so far that we already know, because we've been playing this. I am Ophelia. Greetings, Your Excellency. I am Sister Ophelia. I have come to perform the kindling. Well. We welcome you to our parish, Sister Ophelia. I am Bartolo, the Bishop of Saintsbridge. For you to come all this way in Sister Liana's place, instead. Yes. I am deeply sorry for the sudden change in plans, Bishop Bartolo. Indeed. Think nothing of it, child. I heard of the Bishop Archbishop's illness. You have my sympathies. Thank you. You are too kind, Your Excellency. I have not been so blessed as to perform the kindling myself, but I know the pilgrimage is a trying one. 
And yet there is so also much to be gained for one who undertakes it with an open heart and mind. It will take even every ounce of strength and courage, but for the sake of our church and our realm, pray see it through the to the end. Yes. Thank you, Your Excellency. I promise you I will. <laughs> the people of Saintsbridge have waited with eager hearts for the coming of the Plain Bear. Also, I don't think I said hello. Hello, Anse. The warm light of the sacred flames guides and shelters us all to the depths of our hearts and souls. I doubt you get only places on mobile. I'm not playing on mobile. I'm playing on PC, but I didn't even know that this game was on mobile. Allow me to show you to our cathedral. Oh. If you please. Yeah, no, no, no. You can play it. I didn't know you could play it on mobile. Yeah, you can play it on PC. It's on Steam. You can also play it on Xbox. Someone mentioned that uh, it's actually a somewhat gotcha, I think. What? What do you mean? Um... And apparently the, uh, the, uh, Octobath Traveler 2 is apparently on the Game Pass, I was told earlier. First game, right? Yes. It is, yeah, it's the first game. The second game is also on PC. But this is the first Octobath Traveler, yeah. Behold, Sister Ophelia, this is the Sacred Flame of Saintsbridge. I stood in the same spot and witnessed the rite twenty years ago. At that rate, the flame burned strong, and now it wanes and flickers. Almost as if it were sapped of life. Could it be? Do you believe it's some sort of omen, Your Excellency? <sighs> that I cannot say. But I do believe the kindling will restore our flame to its former vigor. Please. And now, Sister Ophelia, if you will. Yes. Of course, Your Excellency. I will begin at once. O great Elfric, bringer of the flame. To you, I offer my soul and my blood. With your first flame, I kindle this fire. May it forever shelter the people of this land. Through the sacrament of the kindling, grant us your mercy and your blessing. Shing! Oh. Ah, see how brightly the flame shines now. Thank you, Sister Ophelia. You must be tired after your long journey. Please take this time to rest and recover. Thank you for your kind offer, Your Excellency. But since I am here, I would love to see more of your fair town. We are in your debt. You honor us, Sister Ophelia, but should you not rest first? No. I am stronger than I look, Your Excellency. I shall return. Hmm. What's the matter, Professor? You look agitated. Why, I'll be. I never thought the day would come when I'd witness the kindling with my own eyes. I keep telling myself to not get overly excited, but frankly, I just can't help myself. <laughs> so you've heard tell of the kindling before? But of course. It is one of the central rites of the church, held every 20 years. 
The ember born from flame's grace feed the sacred fires across the land. Many people know of the kindling, but few have the opportunity to witness it firsthand. It shall be the experience of a lifetime. Well then, now I have another reason to see this through to the end. I can't steal from them? Why? Have I stolen from them already? Hi, Kitsune. You have not said anything. Forbidden staff? I mean, he doesn't do physical, so... Well, see... Pedro... Silence only, like, stops the little, like, um, it, one, it stops the push notification, and it stops the, uh, like, little thing coming up at the corner, but I still get the alert and everything, like, the plus one, and I actually have my Discord up on my other monitor because it's been, like, closing if I don't have it as, like, the focus window, and I saw you typing, so I was like, hmm. <laughs> I was going to ask if it was something I needed to look at, but I didn't want to, like, out you, so I was like... I was like, I'll just go look. That thing is useless. Yeah, it's mostly meant to, like, not give people notifications, like, at night when they're sleeping, I think, is the intention. Um, I need to get, um, Teresa. It's been bugging me since yesterday. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just anonymous, because I had 10 anonymous gifts, and, um, I think Silent Ravens gifted a couple of anonymous subs when he was doing his crazy uh, subbing thing. And I think I've gotten one or two other, like, single anonymous gift subs, so that would account for the number of gift subs for that blank spot. So I'm pretty sure it's just, uh, it's anonymous gifters, but it doesn't say that. Welcome back, Vic. Um... An anonymous user gifted one subscriptions to the community. Why have you done this? I knew it was you. I sat there and I thought, and I wasn't going to say it out loud because I didn't want it to be like a, oh, you know, don't give any gift subs as anonymous to test it, lol. So I was like, I'll just shut the fuck up. But no, and then you went and did it anyway. Thank you so much, anonymous gifter who totally isn't Petro. Thank you for the gift sub. We're gonna make you sorry. I am sorry. I am. You think that if you cry, that'll make everything all right? Uh, I'm sorry. I said I was sorry. And what's going on here? Break it up now. Break it up. <laughs> uh huh. I was just a guess. I mean, I didn't even say no. I didn't say anything. You lost Daryl's brooch. It's gone now because of him. I, I, I'm sorry, Daryl. 
Sorry's aren't going to bring back his brooch. You know how important it was to him. Why don't you tell me what happened? Huh. Ask Emil if you really want to know. Come on, Nate. Let's get out of here. You said it, Daryl. <laughs> sleep easy now. <laughs> Why weren't you sleeping easy? Did you think I banned someone who, like, gave out subs? I would never. Well, okay, I shouldn't say I would never, but... I don't really ban people. I time them out and they usually, like, go away on their own. Because they usually, like... Well, I mean, I... You better find that brooch. I ban, like, bots and stuff. But, like, actual users, I usually just time out and they'll get bored and move on. Ophelia. I am a cleric, journeying on behalf of the church. 25 pounds richer on potatoes? Yeah, I bought, ooh, I bought like actual potatoes and I really should use them. I'll probably use them tonight. I need to, I need to make the ASMR tonight, which really shouldn't take that long. Like my, it usually doesn't take me more than like an hour or two to edit the ASMR and then Gull and I really have to clean the kitchen so I can clean the uh, air fryer and I'm gonna make home fries for dinner. Cause we have some potatoes that I bought quite a while ago and I haven't done anything with them yet cause I've been being lazy. So. Journeying? That's probably well, what we're gonna do for dinner pride. Chicken sandwiches and homemade fries, I think. That's right. But I've already wrapped up with the right, so... Are you going to help me look for this brooch or what? <laughs> I will! I'm happy to post pictures of dinner because I feel like most of the time that's a lot more complex and... I don't really cook breakfast and lunch anymore. I used to pretty, like habitually but ever since we've been getting busier and busier with content creation i just don't have the energy to do like do really do extravagant that? breakfasts and lunches anymore i really would so cheer up got it thank you miss i mean sister thank you reverend sister <laughs> ophelia is fine now let's get down to it Maybe it really is gone. Uh, this is where you last saw it? Uh, yeah, Daryl bumped into me, and I guess that's when he dropped it. Is that so? You see, The brooch belonged to Daryl's mom. She died just the other week. The brooch is more important to him than anything. I have to find it. I see. That's very kind of you, Emil. No. Daryl can be rough sometimes, but we're all friends. No, you're not good. It's just that, well, after his mom died like that, he's always so angry about everything. <gasps> Oops, oh. I didn't mean to cut her off. Oh no, it's Emil. What? Do you think he'll play with me again after, like he used to, sister? If we just find his brooch? <laughs> he'll see how hard you work to make him feel better. I'm sure he'll come around. Emil. I hope they last for a week or two. You guys go through potatoes pretty often then if you're eating 25 pounds of potatoes in two weeks. That's two pounds a day. That's a lot of potatoes. Although, to be fair, potatoes are pretty dense, so... A good, good size potato is like 
probably half of a pound on its own, right? Something like that. I don't know if I read her line. Are they denser than Cyrus? <laughs> Why is Cyrus catching strays? <laughs> oh, I didn't realize I had... What did I have? Why don't I have you here? Hold on. I'm sure that was something I wanted to do, and then I just don't remember, so. Oh, I probably wanted to see how much the uh, staff cost. But first I should look at his equipment real quick. 56 and 92. Okay, and then... Well, that, if it's really negative, then hitting with it won't make a deal, but it'll make his... Okay, hold on. Yeah, we definitely want that, I think. So let me... Change party members again, because I'm dumb. <laughs> what are you, Irish? <laughs> He's gonna say yes. There are so many delicious ways to cook potatoes and the nutritional values aren't bad either. We were always taught that potatoes are really bad for you. In America. Alright, I got my staff. A very expensive staff. But that'll be really good. Mm hmm. Yeah, and she had silver everything on her. Please! Thank you. Why did I- oh, thank god I was successful, because I did not even mean to do that.
I've never heard of putting potatoes in a goulash before. But goulash means different things to different cultures, I think. What is with this old man? God, this town is so big. Yeah, and like we're in my house, goulash was basically just macaroni and like red sauce and um, like meat. I got um, like red meat. Sorry, like hamburger. There we go. I was like, I was looking for a specific word and I could not figure out what I wanted to say. Yeah, that was like our version of a goulash. But I don't think really anybody else does it like that that I know of. Yosh. Hello. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I I think my family might have just been like I th it either it's oh, hold on. I need to Google goulash and see what it, it gives me immediately. Just goulash. Yeah, this is what goulash is for us. This is like... Are we... Oh, we might be talking about the same thing, because mine has an O in it. No, it autocorrects to this. Okay. But I do see a recipe for it. Um, But this is like what goulash is for... For us. It's like... Macaroni... Uh, usually like rough cut, like chunky red sauce, like diced tomatoes, like a very chunky spaghetti sauce, and uh, hamburger meat. That's what goulash is for like Amer- that's like what an American would would think a goulash is. It does. It's very yummy. I like it. Mm. 
Nice, just kind of the end. I don't know, Gull. Why are you like this? I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't know if I should be laughing at that because I don't know how serious you're being. Well, chat, we've got 20 minutes left of stream and that means we are going to... That is 240 damage on that long bow. Let me see what my equipment, what our bow is on her. Yep. Or uh, we're going to go and we're going to save and we're going to... Oh my god, it's so far away. Ugh. I'm not even going to can attempt to pronounce that. But this guy's got a holy longbow, so... <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> I was about to try and was like, no, I think I've embarrassed myself enough on stream today. Nice, it auto saved us walking in here. So it won't take as long. Boy. <laughs> okay. I don't... <laughs> okay, hold on. You're such a bad... Why did I say bad? It's funny because I'm thinking about Homo sapien and I'm like, you're trying to troll me. Right? You're such a good boy, fancy British gentleman. <laughs> it's like, yeah, bad boy. 
That's not what I said. Yeah, well, that's what you got. Rigged? <laughs> I ain't getting in trouble. Also good to see ya. Hope you're having a good day. I know I know what Homo sapien is, but it could get clipped out of context. So I'm just keeping myself safe. Boy, you said it. You said it a couple times, <laughs> but I'm not gonna say it in that context. I guess I'm not gonna get myself in trouble. I do that enough all by myself. I didn't mean to provoke. Bad creature. What? Oh my god, I got them both. <laughs> It's a good look at that. Give me that bow. Give me the golden golden axe and the holy long bow. Both of his uh items I successfully stole. Nice. I got the the eight percent and the five percent or three percent? Three percent and eight percent. That's pretty good. So and it thankfully didn't take me the entirety, it only took me six minutes. My luck from yesterday, circling back around. My Hannet is so busted, though, now. Uh. Daryl, might I speak with you for a moment? Yes, we, we, um, we, uh, recorded the podcast off stream, so. Um, what's well, busted? I have gotten two, almost 300 attack weapons on my hunter. Uh, and she'll be even more. I have to get it. I haven't found it yet. You're the sister from before. Well, did you find my brooch? No. No, still look missing. Then hurry up and find it already. It's more important to me than anything. Look. We're both looking for it as hard as we can, so why don't you forgive Emil, okay? Hey. It's his fault that it's gone. I'll forgive him when it's back. But how could he? Not until you get it back. How sad. How sad? If anyone's sad here, it's me. I'm the one who doesn't have a mom anymore. Yes, you are the sad one. I know the pain you must be feeling. And I also know that hurting a meal does nothing to erase it. There's nothing as painful as losing a loved one. But do not but do you not love your friends as well? Mm. 
beats me. He lost my mother's brooch. He doesn't know how I feel, and neither do you. Nobody does. How could he understand? He still has a mom. And yet... He's still out there searching for your precious brooch. Mwah. Mwah. Searching for his friend. No. Yeah, right. I bet he's given up and gone home by now. Give me a little shit. Just leave me alone. Daryl, will you come with me? There is something I'd like you to see. Um, you see. Yeah, what is it? Look. You'll see when we get there. Hey, where are you taking me? I do have a Patreon. Yep, I do. There. Would you look at that? It's just art, right? Nope, no art on it. It's all ASMR. Spicy NSFW ASMR. <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking about it. Art oh yeah, there is art on there too, sorry. We haven't done it for the last, like, uh, couple, so I was totally forgot that, yes, there is art there, too. <laughs> yeah, we, we haven't drawn anything for the last couple of ASMR, so I forgot, honestly. <laughs> there, would you look at that? He's really looking for it? I've been a failure. You've been writing! You've been writing all the scripts for the spicy ASMRs. <laughs> Can't expect it to write the scripts and draw, too. And besides, I'd rather you draw, like, concept art. If we're, like, gonna channel your drawing energy, I want to put it into... My voice is changing teams? What do you mean? Um, I'd rather you put it into concept art for, like goddess model or uh, chaotic evil model. Emil, he's really looking for it? Uh, no, the last one with art was, um, the, uh, cuddling with a, uh, with the mean girl. Yeah, she did the winter one by the fire as well. You know, Daryl, Emil told me something. He said you've been angry at everything and everyone since your mother passed. But he hoped... If he could only find your brooch, that you might be friends again. Emil said that? I lost my parents too, you know. You did? I was a little younger than you are now. I asked myself over and over, why am I the only one whose life is so miserable? But my life was not all sadness and misery. I was blessed with people who loved me. Um, yeah, I do safer work ASMRs on the, uh, on the YouTube. That's completely, you know, free for everyone. Uh, did I miss one? 
think so. I think the art might be behind Lilac. The, the like, tier above. I don't remember what I set it at. I might have to look and see. Um, but, yeah, no. I do, like... I do a safer work and an unsafer work version. Unsafer work, not safer work version of each ASMR. And the safer work version goes up on the YouTube. And the uh, not safer work goes up on the Patreon. So if you're interested in safer work ASMR, uh, I have a YouTube channel that that all goes on. Uh, Art is lilac here. That would be why. I thought it was just snippets of the Patreon's ASMR. It essentially is. Um, like, the Patreon gets the extended edition of the YouTube ASMRs, essentially. They get the they get the sex scene, essentially. Of the of the ASMRs. Twenty minute snippets. Listen, I like it slow. Okay. <laughs> but there was someone who never stopped trying to cheer me up, no matter how much of a clod hole I was. Liana was always there for me. Mhm. Mm I like a slow burn. Here, Philly, this is for you. So now, won't you play with me? It was her kindness that saved me. If you close your heart, you'll never realize just how much your friends care about you. Do you understand what I mean, Daryl? It's not my fault. I didn't make Emil do anything. If he wants to search, let him. Why is everyone always blaming me? Cause you're a little dick. I'm not blaming you for anything. I'm gonna clothesline you over this banister. You just said... No one here is blaming you. Unless maybe you're blaming yourself? Perhaps you're feeling guilty for making your friend feel bad, hmm? I can tell you're a good kid, so why don't you be honest with Emil? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, um... Because that was still sort of safer work. There's a back shot that's more explicit that's in Lilac. But I... I'm not... Here, I'll come with you. Let's go. <laughs> My back shots sound like bongos. Oh, I was supposed to be reading. Oh, I just... I don't know why I gave him such a deep voice as a child. How do you do? And you're Nate, yes? Yeah. What's it to you? You see... We were looking for a meal. Have you seen him? He was just here a short while ago. And then? Oh yeah, I saw him running off after some dog. A dog? Yeah, just a few minutes ago, there was this dog and it had something shiny in its mouth. Emil was saying something about how he was sure it was the brooch and he went running off that way. It can't be. That way? Toward the forest? The forest? No way! Is he crazy? 
The forest is full of monsters. We're not allowed to go anywhere near it. Goodness. Oh no. <laughs> It'll be fine. Just think about it. Neil's a total coward, right? There's no way he'd go into that forest on his own. I bet he's running home now, crying all the way. You idiot. Shut up. What? Hey, what's your problem? You know what a meal's like. Damn. I gotta go after him. <gasps> Wait, Daryl. And then we let them both die in the forest. Hmm? A dog with a brooch in its jaws. That could be it. When dogs catch and prey, they are too full to eat. They often bury in it for safekeeping. They aren't collectors and hide in hide away, hide in away sticks. Hidden away sticks. Toys and old bones, too. So you think the dog may have buried Daryl's heirloom? The dog meant no malice. It acted solely upon instinct. The problem is the forest. It is home not just to animals, but dangerous monsters, too. As a hunter, I fear them more. As do I, to be honest. I pray that Daryl and Emil are unharmed. I shall leave the praying to thee. But for now, letting us keep moving. Yeah, that's about what I try to try to make it 20 to 25 minutes or so of ASMR. Definitely. That's like my my aim. All right. So here's the savey thing. And we'll let the children die in the forest and move on with our lives. <laughs> All right, everyone, that is it for me today. Let me get my stuff up so I can thank everyone. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I appreciate it so very much. Boop, boop. Thank you for being here. Oh, awesome. Oh, for fuck's sake, I was in the middle of a break. Hold on. I'll wait for the break to be over. I didn't notice it. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Giles, you're such a good boy. Will there be an angry fist waving emote in the future? Um, I just commissioned about $1,500 worth of emotes. Um, and I don't think in angry emote was in that uh, package but um i have told anybody if anyone is interested in a specific emote mwah, mwah, for either twitter or twitch i can put it into better twitch tv if you have an artist you would like to commission i will happily put it into better twitch tv and in the discord and move it up to a true emote if i ever unlock more slots we do have Angie, and I do have, um, yes, yes, yes. We have an angry, but we don't have a fist waving emote, but we do have Angie on the list. Yes. We have like a, I wanted it similar to Silver Veil's Re, I think is the, um, the reference I gave. And... Don't think I forgot about you. Pedro, you're such a good boy. Thank you everyone so much for spending your time with me. I appreciate it. Thank you to Offensive Monotony and Kennedy Hunter TTV for following offline. Thank you to Planet Popper for the 273 bits and another 100 bits and another 127 bits to round it off to 500 bits today. Thank you to Anze for the 84 bits to an anonymous gifter. No, wink. There we go. <laughs> I was too turned off to the side. <laughs> an anonymous gifter. 
for the hundreds <laughs> hundred subs jesus that would have been insane for the gift sub sorry i'm misspeaking i'm reading bits too busy trying to get myself to wake <laughs> No, I said I was too turned to the side. I was like too turned off camera, so it wasn't marking my other eye. I was because I was looking at a looking at my side monitor to thank people. Um, oh, hello, Juniper. Um, we will be back tomorrow, as always. Um, we'll be playing more Octopath Traveler Thursday. We are going to be playing um. Thursday in the morning, we are going to be playing uh, Overcooked 2 with Gull, um, who is getting her dog, uh, Elixirs, and I assume Ataraxia again. So we'll have a little bit of an Octopath break for a few hours in that morning. Uh, otherwise, it's just it's Octopath until we finish. So I hope you guys are enjoying the game. Uh, thank you so much for being here, Ercy and Vic and everybody else. We appreciate you so, so very much for spending your time with me. Um, and I'm sorry, Pedro, that you're going to miss it uh, due to being in the office. But bye, Blinded Bobber. Bye, Wolfram. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. I'm going to go and I'm going to edit some... Oh, I don't know if I talked about this, like, outwardly. Um, I, I know that I've, I've spoken to people about it, but, uh, my fave creator, uh, who I've been linking in the discord because they've been adding my clips to their, like, clip compilation for VTuber clips. They've done it for the last two months. I have been considering commissioning them for some short form content, like maybe one or two shorts a week. Um, if I find things that I think are very funny, like, I think my first clip that I'm going to give them is the, um, the, the, the flat joke that Ercy made. Um, I think I'm going to give her that or them that I, I'm assuming, um, I'm going to give them that clip. So, uh, I'm going to like give them gonna be a lot of idiot sandwiches tomorrow not tomorrow thursday today is tuesday i think right um so not tomorrow the day after tomorrow um but yeah so uh we might be seeing some more heavily edited uh shorts just a couple because it's not cheap um you know 20 bucks a video um adds up quickly so i can do it like one or two times a week, maybe. Um, so I'm only gonna give them clips if they're like very, very funny or I think they're very funny. So yeah, it's okay. Yeah, Thursday, Thursday in the morning. So yeah, uh, look forward to those. Um, so that's not what I'm, I'm not gonna post that as the uh, clip for today. Um, I'll probably grab something from a couple streams ago because unfortunately Octopath Traveler is not very clickable. RPGs generally aren't um, unless, you know, something crazy happens in combat, but we've been pretty smooth sailing in combat for the most part. But maybe that'll change. But yeah, thank you everybody for spending your time with me. Um, oh, and... I don't want to doom and gloom yet, um, but there is a chance that I might not be able to debut my summer outfit on the summer solstice like I wanted to, um, because it's in eight days from today and I haven't gotten my files for it yet, so um, it might be late, I don't know. Um, I'll be very sad because you know me, I like schedule and consistency and I did order this three months ago and I guess technically she will have gotten it to me ahead of like ahead of schedule, but I would have like, you know, like to do teasers, like gift teasers like I did for the spring model and stuff like that. 
Um, and if I can't, then that'll make me a little bit sad. Um, but... And I won't have V-Bridger either. That's like the thing that I'm the saddest about. Is that I... Unless I get it in the next couple of days... Mo I told Mooney and he said that he would be potentially willing to rush order the V-Bridger. Um, you know, because everybody loves the V-Bridger, so... <laughs> I, I would be sad if we don't have it, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and yeah, so... I, I hope that everything ends up working out, but I guess I wanted to let people know because I did say I was going to debut it on the 20th, and the 20th was the, you know, uh, deadline I gave her in February when I paid her, um, so... Hopefully it, uh, hopefully it all works out, but there's the potential that it might be late. Um, and if I don't get it by the 20th, then I'll just wait until I can get the V-Bridger, and then I'll just show up on stream with it someday. Um, maybe I won't even, I won't even say anything about it. I'll just show up and shift to summer. And... Yeah, so anyways. Uh... Yeah, let's hope it all works out, and if it doesn't, then oh well. We'll, we'll just say fuck it and just show up as summer one day and not say shit about it. All right, I'm gonna head out. I, I, I don't unfortunately have a magical schoolgirl transformation. I would like that very much for a like I said a 2.0 rigging um, project. I would like to give my my model once all four seasons are completed and like have them like do a five thousand six thousand dollar job and like rig all of the outfits have a whole bunch of like transformations and like visual effects and stuff like that for it but that's that's a couple of years from now, right? We're unfortunately right now it's just gonna be switching models and nothing fancy about it. But maybe someday. But yeah, I'm gonna go edit some ASMR, clean my kitchen, cook some dinner, and I will see you all tomorrow. I stream every day, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. EST, if you aren't already. You can follow me on Twitch, you can follow me on Twitter, you can join the community Discord. All those places will let you know when I go live and eventually where I go live. Um, when I get my NSFW model rigged and we can stream some sexy games on Fansly sometime, maybe. We'll see. If any of my projects ever, ever get finished, we'll see. Okay, bye! Mwah! Mwah! Mwah!